and a one and a two and a three and Remy, fuck you. What's up? You're rolling with another episode of Jits and Tits. Damn! The Jits and Tits podcast is brought to you by Remy Fit, the premier online training outlet for combat sports athletes. And after you get done training with Brandon Remy and your body's all banged up and need to heal, we're also brought to you by Alan Kava, Long Island's first and only Kava bar, serving exotic teas and relaxing elixirs that will help you recover after an intense training session. We're also brought to you by Rapid Restore, Long Island's leading restoration company, specializing in water damage, fire damage, and mold remediation. And the handsome man that will come up to clean up your mess, Ronnie Longlegs of Rapid Restore. What's so funny, boys? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Yo, quick shout out to all the moms out there. Happy yeah. Mother's Day. Yeah, happy Mother's Day, moms. You know? <laughs> shout happy out Mother's to mothers. Day dads that are take care of the kids, too. Yeah, we got you know? some dads out there that are mothers, you know? <laughs> Yeah, um, Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, we appreciate you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, queen. Moms play a big role in the uh, dynamic of the family, so. On another note, D-Rock can't stop laughing. Right now. <laughs> we have no, no idea I mi- why. I miss, I, yeah, I missed what happened. What just happened? I don't even know why it was so goddamn funny, but it was. I just happened to look over at Terrence, and he was like s- fucking smacking his bagel across his plate like an idiot. <laughs> 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 like, I, like, I had the mic in the way, and I went to, like, get my bagel like this, like, oh, instead of going, oh, I'm retarded, man. Typical like, Terrence shit. Do you remember those finger skateboards? It looked yeah, like he was like doing <laughs> that with his bagel, like, fucking hitting all these across his oh, plate like a half-eaten bagel. I those, also, things, those things were hot for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm not used to having teeth, so I'm breaking my bagel into little pieces yeah. and feeding it to the back, because, like, yep. I'm still, like, you said, oh. I'm not having teeth for two years. Oh, you got, fucking, that made me cry. That's so <laughs> <laughs> you got those chompers now. Yeah. Does yeah. it really feel weird? Yeah. You forgot how to eat. I'm just used to eating that way. It's can been, you? It's been can two you years take a bite though? Yeah. Like of that bagel. Let me see. watch. Yeah, I want to watch. Good shit, bro. Oh, wow. Does it feel oh, weird? Wow. Oh. Oh. I'm it getting look, used to it. At first, it felt like pressure yeah. because like there was nothing there pushing down. Now it just feels that like looked natural, dude. Yeah, that yeah. looked that it looked like you never lost. You know, you never lost a touch. You never. So what did you do before that? Just chew him in the back? Yeah, he would yeah. break his food break up food and, and shove and it in and the back. And push it to the molars, yeah. I feel like I do that anyway. Yeah, that's what you do with your front teeth. You just take the initial bite, you pull it away from like whatever you're eating, and then you feed it to your molars to chomp it down. And you feed it to your intestine? Yeah. Yeah, and then it works its way down to your colon. But another real note, I love... Where's it go from there? I love that... Right to your colon. Caitlyn Jenner spoke out against like transgender athletes competing in like uh they're like uh, yeah sports. and they tried to cancel it what'd she say let them uh, how are you gonna cancel you get you made her woman of the year i know they cancel it because it's the culture we because live it, do- in, it doesn't it doesn't fit like the narrative. Their, their narrative right. so like now she's saying hey this is kind of fucked up like yeah, a man who a man who transitions to a hits. woman shouldn't be shouldn't be allowed to compete yeah. caitlin should, jenner said that Caitlyn yeah she said no yeah. time she and, she, right. and she's no, tra- not caitlin jenner Caitlyn Jenner said it. That's oh, that's that's her name. Well, oh, Bruce, yeah. Bruce Bruce Jenner's Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner, yeah. right? Or oh, yeah. is Caitlyn, Caitlyn one of the younger ones? No, 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 no. Bruce Jenner became Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, but you're not allowed to say Bruce. That's dead naming. That's like fucking. Right. No, I I called her Caitlyn because I li- I like what she said. I think that's cool. She transitioned, yeah. so she's her? she's been no, really, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking too. shot. That's an Olympic athlete. I'm right, a married he knows, man. And he knows the deal. He, yeah, like they know the deal. Like it's the, if that guy, woman, if I wasn't now a woman who used to be a man. <laughs> was an Olympic athlete decided to go be an Olympic athlete now as a woman he was against a s- women. He was a stud Olympic he would athlete. Fucking kill yeah, all of them. None of them would have a chance. So he, was, he gets it. He was yeah, on I, the cover. He was on the Wheaties box. Well, yeah, he was, I, that, I, he was that fucking good. I think yeah. female Olympics they test the testosterone of the competitors, and if the women's testosterone levels are high, they make them take estrogen to bring it down. So that, yeah, was, that was a big deal. There was some um, woman who was an Olympian who had high testosterone levels naturally. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, your testosterone level's too high. Yep. That's bullshit. Like, what? Yeah. That's fucked up. I know, but if they well, make them take estrogen, that just means they have more testosterone and more estrogen in their body. It's like the estrogen's going in there and killing the testosterone, I correct? So, like, I think it might, I think the estrogen, if you take estrogen, I think it might bring down your T levels. Oh, yeah. It, I it think lowers so. like T production. Okay. It might. So I'm like, that's bullshit because well, yeah, you just have more, more estrogen and you're still just as fucking strong well, yeah, and all like the if you, if you testosterone were about to If you were about to change from like one gender to another, if you were going from. Male to female, you would probably have to take more estrogen to grow tits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Absolutely. They usually get implants. And develop, so they don't a, like and grow develop a belly button ring and stuff. I mean, yeah. all this stuff. Develop a belly button ring. <laughs> <laughs> Does Caitlyn Jenner have a dick? Or did yeah. she get surgery? Yeah, she didn't get it snipped, I don't think. No. I think she no. did. I thought that was like an article. No. She's got titties. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, but that's good, though. I mean, like, she spoke out. No, that's smart. And then the whole community disowned her. That whole, uh, 
A B C one two three community. You ever see that? You see the Chappelle skit where he's like, if you got all the LGBTQs, he's like, they're in a car. He's like. Yes. All the L's and the B's get in the front. <laughs> yeah, he's like, because like, like, everybody hates the T's. Yes. <laughs> I did see that. Yeah, me is too. that what he's is? That's like one of his more recent ones. Right? Yeah, it was yeah. like the mo- the very f- first, first one, one on Netflix. He put out, yeah, when he's like singing Prince in the beginning, he's like smoking the jewel yeah. the whole time. Yep. Yeah, one time he's smoking the jewel the whole time. The other time he's smoking cigarettes. Both of them were fucking amazing. Like, yeah, he's both, a funny like, dude. Were great. Yeah, he's he was just on Rogan too. I yeah, it's good. It yeah, was good. one. I didn't finish it yet, but it was. It's so far so good. Yeah, he's a really intelligent guy. Like to be that fucking. Yeah, to be he's one of the greatest comedians. To be that funny, like you have to be smart and like the shit. I mean, his show was like next level. It was so ahead of its time. My favorite comedian is George Carlin. Oh, Carlin was one of the best. I don't even know who that is. That he's guy always had his finger older, on the pulse, right? man. Yeah. Like yep. he, yo, if you go watch some of Carlin's shit now, it holds up to like what is going on. It now. does, he, dude. It's, he's got it's a whole insane. skit that's probably about twenty years old where he talks about how language is being changed and bastardized, and like the goal of it. And I remember first seeing it, I and I remember thinking like. What does it matter? They're just words. And now that I'm older and I see what's happening now, how they're like defining words and what words mean, I'm like, wow, Carlin nailed it. Yeah, he, he even talks about like how like the government's trying to like just take over and control yeah. and shit. And he says like, oh yeah, your freedom is not free. You don't own your money. Yeah. You don't own your house. It's just smoke and mirrors to make you feel like you're free. He's got that skit. It's called. He's like, it, it calls the. He's like, it's called the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that's, dude, that's but good. Yeah, he's nasty, dude. One of the one of the skits from that. Uh, one where he talks about how language is getting fucked up. He's like, you know, back in the uh, in World War One, you know, sh- soldiers would come home. He's like, it was called shell shock. You know, he's like, it was just shell shock. You're shell shocked from taking shells. You know, you come home, you're shell shocked. He's like, now it's PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder. He's like, and it went from shell shock to uh, uh, he just went over like the progression of the years, how they changed it from like something very blunt, you know exactly what it is, to now it's this like bastardized version of like. Fuck is post traumatic like cri- stress like cryptic, disorder. Yeah. yeah, like what the fuck are you trying to say? Yeah, Just so come now out it's and become what it is, and they, how they manipulate speech to, um, to an end goal, so that it's basically a control on how you can talk. There's unacceptable terms. Yep. And this is like 20 years ago. Yeah, it's it's insane. Like, even if you just YouTube, like, uh, George he, Carlin. He, didn't he pass away relatively young? He did, yeah. No, he was pretty old. He, he was, was pretty 60s, old? I thought. No, I thought he was in his 80s. Oh, really? Yeah, he was pretty old. Terry G, you want to get on that? Uh, I mean, D-Rock's already going, bro. We, you yeah, have, get yours, you, gang. I don't even know where my shit is. Yeah, oh, my phone's all the way over there. You're fired, dude. You're fired. Get the fuck out of here. Damn. Damn, baby. Damn. Yeah, no, then he had a skit where he was talking about all the sayings, like... Um, uh, lock him up and throw away the key and shit. Yeah. And he, he like he just like made fun of all the saints. He's like, lock him up and throw away the key. He's like, how far can you throw a key? I mean, like, even if you take that thing sideways and you throw it like you're going to skip a rock, how far are you going to get that key? A couple yards? I mean, come on. Like, these sayings make no sense. <laughs> He's like, it took the cake. He's like, it took the cake? Where, where do you take a cake? Yeah. You know? The, the, the country's going down the tubes. How big are these tubes? Yeah, like, the, the, the entire country <laughs> fitting down these tubes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he just like broke them apart. It was funny. So he does have some serious shit, but he also has some like funny comedy. He had a well. good one too. That's also appropriate for the time being, where he talks about um, uh, germs and how everyone's like afraid of germs and all this shit. He's like, I grew up. We used to go swimming in the Hudson fucking River. Uh-huh. He's like, I've never been sick a day in my life. You know yeah. why? He's like, because I would swim in fucking sewage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, He's like, my body's resilient. Up. He's like, that's what you're supposed to do. He's yeah. like, you're supposed to touch a lot of germs. He's like, you're not supposed to be a germaphobe and worry. He's like, you got to let your body get exposed and do what it's supposed to do. So right, though. It's so it true. Is. And it's that so water true. was even how, dirtier. How relevant then? is that right now yeah. with all this bullshit 100%. going on? Uh, look at all, like when we grew up, what we were doing, eating dirt, kicking rocks Serious. outside. Yeah. yeah, These kids are in the house playing video games, no immune systems. Yeah. Yeah. And dude, and you and don't now see kids on bikes anymore. No. Never. You know what I was thinking the other day, dude? I was driving down the block. I was on the way to go train, and I was looking at the trees because, like, you know, the flowers are starting to bloom and shit. Aw. Yeah, right? But, like, I'm looking at the trees, I'm like, you know what, dude? When's the last time you saw kids climbing trees? I know. Yeah. Right? We used to climb trees and shit. Yeah. That was like the we thing to do. do. Yeah. Yo, when I was... Have you seen that? When I was younger, I would roll around with like 15 kids deep. Just deep. walking around. Walking yeah. streets. Yeah, just doing shit. Bloody you know knees. What? I, yeah. ha- I have yeah. seen those kids on like the fat tire bikes, like doing wheelies, and there's like mobbing like, like 20 yeah, of them Yeah, but they're dickheads yeah. shutting yeah. down traffic. We were yeah. fucking jumping out like, yo, climb as high as you can in the tree mm-hmm. and see if you can yeah. drop, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. serious. Yeah. It's crazy. And like Halloween. Oh, like, my God. Dude, Halloween I, in the I, Pines was a war zone. Dude, it was a war zone. I mean, not only are you getting hit with frozen paintballs, but everyone's getting egged. You're outside just having a ball. Like, now you... Shaving cream. No one's outside. No. No yeah. one's TPing houses. Yo, did I, have a, did I ever tell you guys my first experience of, with Halloween in Center Reach when I moved there? 
Nah. I don't know if I, I spoke about it on the podcast. Oh, my God. Oh. Yo, leave him outside. We're, <laughs> we're in the middle of recording, yo. Motherfuckers, sir, motherfuckers sir we're not open. Yo, so I go out to Santa Reach. I move out there like seventh grade going Should into eighth grade. Yeah. yeah, sure, let him in. So I go out there seventh grade, going into eighth grade. And uh, Halloween kicked off like right before eighth grade or like while we were like a couple months in, I should say. So I didn't know too many people in Santa Reach at that yeah. time. I was like brand, brand new. So I had a couple of people I knew. They're like, yo, let's go out for Halloween. I'm like, all right, dope. So I brought my cousin, R.I.P., Stevie B, even the funky flab. All right. <laughs> so we go walking around in uh, in the neighborhood and we like look down the road and like under a street light, there's about 12 like seniors all dressed up. In the Dead Presidents movie, you ever see Dead Presidents? No, you, you saw yeah, D Rock. The, Their yeah. faces all painted. Pull it up real quick so you can show uh, Ronnie and Terrence. So these dudes are all dressed up, black faces painted like Dead Prez, and we're like, "Oh shit, man!" We're like, "Maybe we should go the other way." So we're like, "Yeah, let's go the other way." So we turn around to start walking. My buddy looks back. He's like, "Yo, run! They're chasing after us." This is how these motherfuckers' faces are painted. Damn. That's so scary. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm like, holy shit. So we start running, and these dudes weren't, like, very far. They were probably, like, I don't know, 100 feet, maybe 200 feet away. Yeah, like, yeah. we could see the paint and everything. So I start running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. My cousin Stevie B was trying his hardest to keep uh-huh. up, dude, because he was a big boy. So all of a sudden, I turn around. I'm like, yo, they still behind us? And he, I look behind me, and he's like, yeah, I'm still behind you. And he takes my cousin, dude, and he throws my cousin. Just airborne. I mean, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, bro. I fucking turbo speed that shit. I fly all the way to my house. I run to my front door. And my aunt at the time, who I was living with, she's in the living room. I close the door behind me. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, these kids, they're, they're running after us. She's like, you don't live here. I'm like, what? She's like, get out. You don't live here. I'm like, fuck, man. So now I open the front door. I got to walk back outside. And these 12 kids are just like pacing, waiting for me. Wait, hold on. You walked into your house? My own house. And she didn't want the problem with the, the kids. Yeah, to what be, be fucking up her house. So she's like, you don't live here. And I'm like, <sighs> damn. I was like, holy Yo, shit. Dang. Yeah. I would have just fought her. It'd be easier than fighting the other 12. Dude, yeah, so, right? <laughs> so I, I'm like. I'm she like, made I'm, you go back outside? Yeah, so now what I'm back outside. All I'm thinking about is my cousin, Stevie Beave, <laughs> who, got, who got thrown. <laughs> big boy was big. He was a big kid, man. He, he, he got imagine, tossed. Imagine you're like, yo, yo, tell you all right, and you just see me get tossed. That's you're what like, I'm oh saying. Yeah. See SpongeBob episode. <laughs> That's what I'm and saying. Yoked up with the hooks. So I go back outside, and they're just pacing, and I'm like, fuck, man. I'm like, all right. So I go to take a step off the. The, f- the front stoop, and my my uh, my buddy at the time's dad comes pulling up in the car, and I was like, oh my god, thank god, the thank god, just, bro. The kids just dispersed, dude, and that was the end of my Halloween experience. Oh my Damn, god, dude, never Damn. went trick or treating since. <laughs> <laughs> nope, <laughs> no, it was crazy because Halloween was crazy back then. Yeah, we go yeah, crazy. Yeah, we we used used line for it. They, there was like hundreds of us. We used to line up on Levittown Parkway in Hicksville and just fucking whatever you could find, just throw it. If a car passed there, Med they would get destroyed. Yeah. Like now. No. They're you trick or treating with their mom till they're like fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Like ain't no such thing as mischief night. Like I live for mischief night. Oh, the night before yeah, Halloween? Right? I never did that. I fucked around on Halloween, but I never went out like the week the day before Halloween to, like, Yeah, me neither. Like, oh, Halloween um, was like a whole week thing. Yeah. yeah. Back then. I my love, mom uh, used dude, to clear seven eleven for me with all the eggs and all the shaving cream. Are you serious? Yeah. My mom's like, my dad's get the fuck out there and go be a kid. Like yeah, that's they dope. used to get us all the shaving cream bottles, put the needles in them, and then burn them. You know, so never it shoots, did that. So it shoots, so like, it shoots really like ten feet. Oh yeah. shit! So my really? dad was like yeah. sticking the needles in it and then burning like the whole clothes. So it was like a you know, small hole. So it was like, yeah. so he's like, my dad would get me like the extendo can so I didn't run out. I went. <laughs> <I went. laughs> That's awesome, was lit. dude. It was That's lit. fucking awesome. It was a good he time. W- he was like the dad that got in trouble. Like he had a bunch of kids in the back of a pickup when he gave them all like fucking beers and like BB guns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like shooting everybody while he's driving around. Yeah, yeah. Halloween was crazy. I remember one year it was like it got around to like the school that like the. The upperclassmen were driving around with super soakers with Nair in them, like watering oh, down fuck. Nair. That's fucked up. That Yo, they fucked used to, up. we used to drive around with uh, super soakers with piss in them. That's and, like, disgusting. That's so like, fucked we up. Would go in. <laughs> yeah, he was just That's saying disgusting, they put disgusting, bro. That's gross. Yeah, we were, like, I mean, it. Since I was in like middle school, they did that, and like we were seniors, like fuck, we could we could load these super soakers with piss. piss now, yeah. <laughs> now it's our turn to yeah. put the piss in the super soaker, <sighs> bro. Like people used to freeze paintballs in the pines. And Damn. shoot us. <laughs> Where is the pines? Marbles. Medford, right here. Marbles. Yep. I got shot in the ribs with marbles out of a paintball. Bro. Holy shit. It's fucked up. That is fucked up, man. Dude, the pines was a war zone. Do you yeah, remember the cops the, everywhere? Do you remember the yellow Mustang? There was a yellow Mustang every year that would drive around 
and terrorize us, dude. They would I feel like I do remember that. Dude. Yeah. And they were the paintball bandits with the mm-hmm. fucking frozen paintball. Stop. Frozen that's what eggs. they called themselves? No, that's what they did, though. Frozen eggs. Frozen paintballs. Frozen eggs. Marbles in the paintball gun. Frozen eggs. Air balloons. Jesus. Right? And you remember Air, the Air balloons. Air balloons. Wow. Kids are so dumb, though. Like, a frozen paintball, if you hit somebody in the eye, like, they're going to be fucking blind. Temple. Like, oh, yeah. Temple, you, you know what I'm saying? Like dude, I had yeah. my ribs broken. I got shot with a marble. A, mar- a marble. You could fucking kill somebody. Yeah, we were so stupid. Like, even, yeah. like, every car that passed down Levittown Parkway, we would throw shit. There was cop cars running Fro- down. Frozen turkeys. You were the frozen turkey guy? No, no, we didn't throw frozen turkey. We threw, like, whatever we had, the eggs, frosted. rocks, we, whatever we could pick up and throw, we would throw. Oh, even if it was a cop car. Fucking, you see the lights and we always ran. Mm. There's like a so hundred kids running into it. Mm. And at the time, there was a pool next to it. Um, it was all about the, the, the adrenaline. We used to jump over the fence and like hide in the pool, like hide in the deep end of the pool, hope they wouldn't see us. <laughs> I did that. They, like, they knew this, where we there's were. There's five bodies underwater. Like, come no, on. There's, Just with no, the lips no, above like this. <laughs> yeah. No, there's no like water. A bunch of they, they, they there's no water straw. in the pool. Like, we would jump the fence. It was like a big town pool. Jump the fence and just run down to the bottom of the pool and just like hope they wouldn't. Oh, it wasn't filled. No, no, it wasn't filled. But like, uh-huh. I mean, they knew we were there. Yeah, of course. Dude, one time dude. I was ro- I was jumping fences to get away. <laughs> did I ever tell you guys the story about the Domino's car? Uh, I think you did. Oh, okay. Uh, not on the, not on the podcast. Oh, not on the podcast. Oh, one time I was like day drinking. Cool this story. Let's like, go. Like, I was probably like nineteen or twenty years old. We're hanging out all day. This girl's parents were out. So then, like nighttime, the party came along. So I was already drinking since like twelve. Not hammered though. I don't know. I'm ride the chilling. ride the buzz. Just riding just vibing. It out. Ride the buzz. So we ordered Domino's and I'm like sitting there, like kind of bored. The night was like dying down. I'm like, I'm gonna steal this guy's car when he gets here. And they're like, No. They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I hid. I hid behind like another car. Domino's guy pulls up, goes to the front door with like the pizza, leaves his shit running. I just got in it and drove away. No <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> Which, like, looking back, is like so fucked up. Like this poor guy. Yeah, it's so fucked. I up. didn't crash. I didn't crash his car or anything, though. I fucking, I drove it like across. I was in Comac, so I drove it probably like to two Brentwood. two miles away, <laughs> like a mi- probably like a mile and a half away, and then we ran back. And then by the time we got back, the cops were there, so we were jumping over fences, like going through. Dude, oh my and the, god! And the girl whose house it was, fucking like Christ left the Jews, like right in front of the cops. She's like, <laughs> she's like, Terrence. I love you, but you can't be here right now. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, the cop is right here. <laughs> so, so you get busted? No, like, there's sit- my brother also. I-, I totally got away with it. But my brother, he was at the party. He ran home on his longboard to tell my mom, like, oh, my God, Terrence, this is going to be getting so much trouble. So he told my mom. So my mom found out, even though, like, oh I didn't. Oh, my God. And then, so the cop just said, I just, like, stone-faced the cops. So I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been here the whole time. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, check the car for my prints, motherfucker, because it I wasn't did. me. Well, that's what ha- That's, like, so funny, because we watched a bunch of CSI. So I ran, like, the mile <laughs> and a half back. And then I'm like, fuck, they're going to fingerprint. My fingerprints are on the car. So we ran back, and we wiped down the car for fingerprints. <laughs> <You're serious? laughs> yeah, I swear to God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then and then and then and then hopping fences on the way back my friend his foot like this was like uh before pools were open probably it was like around this time like april he like stepped on a pool cover and he like fell in the pool like well, it's made dog jump it back it's crazy That's he didn't hysterical. have that he didn't have that elephant pool cover though no nah, yeah dude the pines when we were fucking driving around fucking shit up at the pines i remember when we finally got our cars and shit we used to Drive around, steal everybody's pumpkins. We find the biggest pumpkins. So I don't know if you guys are familiar. Obviously, you guys don't know the pines. If you go down Woodside here and take Woodside East, um, down by like uh, Sip Avenue, you know where Sip Avenue is? Yeah. You left into Sip. That's yep. like the pines area. Oh, okay. Like Matson A. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Pines. Pines. You pull off of Woodside, yeah. you got the firehouse. There's like yes. the baseball yes. fields and yes. shit. Okay. So that's the pines. Dude, that area was a fucking war zone. So that's where like we grew up. And that was like. It was crazy, dude. Yeah. Black pine and pitch pine, you were not supposed to go down there. That's where, like, like the shit used to pop off. So what about, what about Brian, uh, brown pine? There's no brown pine. Oh. Wait, for Halloween or just in general? Halloween. Just oh. for Halloween. It was bananas, dude. I wa- dude, I watched a girl get kidnapped on Halloween. That's another story, but... Um, That's hot. Dude, so the, we used to go, we'd drive around, we'd pick up the biggest pumpkins we could find, we'd steal them. <coughs> we'd drive across Woodside to the opposite side, so instead of making the left on the sip, you make the right, and that's like the Bellport side. That's like the Bellport School. Yeah, Atlantic street. Points over there and shit. No, no, that's further down. Okay. But uh, so on that side, that residential side, you know where Le Bon V is? 
like yeah. Hospital Road, yeah, behind yeah. that. Okay. That's like the Bellport side gotcha. of Woodside. We'd drive over there, dude, and we would just drive around and throw fucking pumpkins through people's windshields. Oh, oh like we would, we would, Dude, we were scumbags. And like yeah, even before crazy. we could drive, me and my friends, we'd all meet up, we'd go around the pines. If we didn't get like the candy we wanted at a house, we'd fucking just terrorize the house. I oh remember, dude, I was in like ninth grade probably. It was me and my friends. No king size? You kidding me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you kidding me? Dude, there was this house. Haymaker on, to the front door. There was this house <laughs> on... I won't say what block it was on, but they just redid the house. It was beautiful. They had these, like, ceramic swan planters, like, uh, big double doors. I don't even know what you call them, but, like, uh, and, like, uh, stained glass, like an arch stained glass around the doors. That sounds nice. So we show up, and they had, like, bullshit candy outside, and nobody answered the door. Damn, they're going we like, to like, learn today, boy. Dude, we picked up, we picked up yeah, the like ceramic. Yeah, lemon, like lemon heads, man? Fuck yeah. lemon heads. <laughs> we picked up the ceramic planters and threw them through the fucking stained glass window. Oh, oh my, my God. We were, dude, looking back. Dude, how like, old are you? I was, like, 14, 15 years yeah, old. Yeah, that's, oh. that's the thing. You didn't, like, I mean, I did stupid shit when I was that young, too, man. You just don't have, like, you don't know. You realize. I don't understand what the mindset, what, what, what anything you're was doing. Like, the value, yeah. like the value, the value of value yeah. that. Yeah, like or that. going around and throwing fucking shit through people's yeah. uh, cars. And we drive up on people's lawns and knock over their scarecrows. And yeah. Like, even when we were, even not Halloween, I remember we used to get out and destroy people's fucking bored. Christmas. Yeah, the biggest thing that I like to do back Make in the, the day was out the window yeah. with a, with a ba- baseball bat. I used yeah. to wreck everyone's mailbox. Mailbox, really? yeah, mailbox. Yeah, yeah, one time I was in the passenger seat of my buddy's car, and I'm like, yo, 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 let me hit this mailbox. I'm outside with an aluminum baseball bat. I'm like, boom, metal mailbox, concrete in, didn't move. Bat flies back, blows out my back window on my camera. <laughs> 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 Instant karma. Dude, Instant that's karma. so good. I was like, bang, oh shattered my, my window. God, and my wrists were vibrating. You ever hit something with yes. a bat? Bro, it was the worst feeling in the world. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Yo, we used to put mortars in people's mailboxes. Like oh, dude, I remember that. I used to blow like, everyone on my block had no mailbox. But I was, I was about, like, Whoa. I was about to say, except, yo. except Ronnie. Ronnie's the only house on the block <laughs> with the <laughs> mailbox. It's like, like titanium. You like, you're, you're like so. <laughs> we used to fucking we used to drive me, around <laughs> when we were all big onto like our uh, on BMX bikes. We would drive around the neighborhood on our bikes, and we used to steal chrome caps yeah, off yeah. people's cars. Yeah, what Bro, was with I know I people ra- used to do that, too. It was too. the biggest thing ever. So then we graduated to that when well, that got boring. Yeah, because you put that shit on your bike, though. Dude, we would oh, go around. that's why. We were get- stealing the hood no, ornaments. The hood ornaments. Yeah. yeah. Cadillacs, Mercedes. That was our big thing. And the winner, the big the big prize was the uh, the truck, the um, the bulldogs on the trucks. The Mac. Yeah, the Mac trucks. That was, like, the big prize. Yeah. Deal. Bro, I got and arrested for that. We almost did too for taking hood ornaments. Yeah. No, from I was huge on like because we went to Saxton, and then we'd pass through Barton on the way home. So I was in eighth grade, and every day we would just raid the, every teacher's parking lot and take all the dice caps, oh. the Wait, light the up te- caps. The teachers I ran dice every, caps. Every, every, <laughs> everyone, yeah, bro, and that the shit. cops Chrome came caps to the to the school, and uh, I had a Ziploc bag full of them in my locker, and they took me in the back of the police car. I was like fucking 13, 14. But still, I'm like, dice yo, caps? they're like, yeah, what you're a thief, joke. you're going to jail. Blah, blah, blah. They put me in the police car with my boy Rizzo. And Shout we're driving. Rizzo. I'm like, yo, I can't believe I'm going to jail right now. I'm like 13 years old. And I l- <laughs> and then for $100 he, worth of tire caps. They, they just took me right to my parents' house. Oh, they're trying to scare you. Knocked on the door. And they're like, and they're like, this is what he's doing. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, thank God. Yeah. yeah. My dad's like, what we got in the bag, kid? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. a fire shit for the bike. Like, Ronnie's like, I'm doing 25 out of life. and stealing caps, bro. Wait, this so your, pa- your parents didn't even like reprimand you for that? They were like, all right, you're just being a kid? My mom's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? My dad's yeah. like, that shit looks dope on your bike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I think the stupidest thing I did during like Halloween and pretty much like the whole year was sloshing. I told, you, I told you guys about sloshing. No. I'd you, fill up. That's t- so funny. Luigi told us yeah. about shit dollar, though. Yeah, no, I would fill up Ziploc bags of every condiment in the refrigerator. Mustard, ketchup, mayo, oh, hot sauce, pickle juice. Gross. And we would just drive to the neighborhood and see some kid walking, and we would just oh. lay up the bag and fucking hit them in the chest, and then they were covered, dude. We did that, we did that with water Bro, balloons. If someone did that to me, I'd probably kill them. Yeah. yeah, dude. We used to go water ballooning, which is like kind of like victimless. It's funny. Like, you hit somebody with a water balloon, they get wet, but it's like not over. Like we were saying about lobbying, there was this woman jogging like middle of summer. I just reached my hand out, laid it up right into her chest, and she was like, "Oh, <laughs> yo, we um, that's hysterical. We got into a, a bunch of trouble when we were younger. I think it was like, I think it was in tenth grade. My buddy Pete lived on Sip Avenue, no Jamaica Avenue. Sorry, Jamaica, Jamaica Avenue, Jamaica. Ronnie Bynatsen, eh? Yes, and over there, yep. there was a house that Come was abandoned right to next door to Jamaica his house, and, and we like went in there. That was like our hangout spot. We turned into like our little clubhouse. But we fucking ruined this place, dude. We went into every room, tore shit down. We used to set fires in there. 
All the baseboard heating out, scrapped. Yeah. We used to take <laughs> shits from the third floor down, like oh my god, air drop. No, we, so, <laughs> no, we didn't know that eventually, like the house got bought out by a bank that was like gonna re. Oh yeah, themselves. that's so what they do. They, the bank takes it over, and like, like what is this? N- like, there's new bathrooms in here, like a brand new toilet bowl and shit. So my buddy takes his nine iron and fucking hammers the porcelain toilet with his nine iron, breaks oh. it. Oh, but what? You guys have a nice new toilet to use, and then you're like, like, use it. Dude, let's <laughs> fucking <laughs> smash it. <laughs> dude, this went on Fuck for like, the bank. It was like two rather months. Rather shit on the grass. This. Yeah. I'd rather take a three story shit, bro. <laughs> Fuck bathrooms. Yo, you're in rip the ceiling out. Grade, yeah, yeah dude, it's three a story. lot more fun so, shitting. Dude, we're doing this. This goes on for like a couple weeks, and every time they do something new, we destroy it. So I guess they started picking up on it. We, we roll into the house one time. We're hanging out. We got a fire lit. Fucking cops roll in. They're like, oh, you guys are the ones that have been fucking vandalizing this place. Cuff us. Oh, damn. Oh. Dude, call our parents and shit. Damn. We get down to the station, dude. And uh, I remember my buddy Rob and Chris, his dad was a retired CO and he like pulls us outside and he's like listen you guys are all going to fucking jail like they're gonna prosecute you there's nothing we can do to help you like and it doesn't matter that you're young kids they're gonna prosecute you as adults and scared the shit oh I'm sure out of us dude I'm yeah. like oh my god we're all going to fucking jail I'll go to church I swear to god I won't curse again mommy yeah, mommy, I'm like, mommy. I'm like, I'll work I'll work all the community service I have to do they were just doing it to scare the shit out of us yeah, it worked. we all ended up just getting like probation and shit we had to do crazy community service ACOD or whatever the fuck yeah but called. dude I was yeah. shook daddy yo he let us go on for like two days I was shook as fuck Fuck, man. Yeah. I was so scared. I just wanted to add on, uh, I grew up on the South Shore, around the water, and uh, me and my dirt bike friends, when we walk around town, you know, doing the normal shit you guys are talking about, but uh, there was a lot of docks there. So we would jump on the boats, steal crabbing nets and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Fuck and it. And uh, we got a little bit older, started drinking a little bit more, and uh, one of the things we thought we were hysterical to do was we would untie the boats from the dock. Oh, my like God. Oh, and just power move. push it. And then just give watch it a it gentle nudge and watch it float yeah. out to it sea. It would just float down the canal, like into the bay. Viking funeral. Bumping <laughs> into every <laughs> boat on its way down. At, now that I'm older, like, I feel fucking horrible. That's it's insane, like, right? Because sometimes people don't check on their boat it, for a couple days. As a yeah. boat owner, I'd murder somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just come back, your boat's not there. You, know, you just, bring up a good point. Fucking I'm bobbing up and down in the I'm middle of the Great I'm South Bay. I'm surprised that it's not, like, chained and locked. Like, like I'm surprised there's not like an, an eye bolt that like you could lock here. Because who's gonna go untie someone's boat? Yeah. <laughs> drunk Sean, drunk Sean. Sure. Yo, that's sketchy though. What Sean's talking about walking around on the docks, like fucking around. Like I was hanging out in Northport one time. We did that, and like you don't know who's on your boat or who's off your boat. And like I might yeah. walk onto this boat, but you might be that like, hey, what the fuck are you doing yeah. with like a gun? Yeah, it's fucking scary. Yeah, my boy got a boat, and if, like the first like couple weeks that he owned his boat, like he slept on it. Yeah. Like he just was like, fuck it. He just spent a couple nights out there on the boat. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's fucked up, though. It's crazy. You come back, your boat's gone. It's yeah. fucking in the middle. Yo, and like, you know how easy it is to sink someone's boat? All you gotta do is pull a plug out the back. One oh, really? One plug. Damn. Bing. You pull it out, Damn. sink the boat. When I was. Uh, it happened to my buddy. When we were in middle school, me and my buddy Matt Dower, we would uh, get to the uh, we'd get to the bus stop. Our bus stop was on Torrey Pine in Jamaica. And uh, we used to just light fires. We used to just empty out my bag. Like, my school bag that had all the, f- like, papers and shit. We'd light fires every morning. And we were, like, a little pyros. But we also did it because it was cold as shit. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you guys were bums. You guys no. are homeless yeah. people. So we started... Uh, cold. Got a sweater. We go started home. one up in it. <laughs> we used to light home. fires in the back of the bus after that. Oh, were you one of the what? guys that was... Were you, you one of the guys... fires in the back of the school one morning, bus? Yeah, in the back of the school Dave, bus. Dave, were, were you guys the guys that melted the seat and then stuck the lighter Hell in? So yeah. Like yeah. It had, like, that yeah. fucking, like, mark on it? Dude, we lit this... Th- we lit the seat on fire. <laughs> but uh, so one morning we're at the bus stop That's and so we're funny. like emptying out my book bag and this dude comes walking up and he's like, hey guys, good morning. We're like, hey, he's like, uh, flashes his card. He's like, I'm the fire marshal. And we're like, cool. And he's like, yeah, you guys are the ones lighting fires at the fucking bus stop. We're like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and this girl, she was like a younger girl. Her mom used to always walk at the bus stop and we see Snitch. her come walking up and she's like, it's them. <laughs> dude, this guy takes us back, back to, to our houses and Matt lived across the street from me. Fire marshal brings us in. He tells our parents, like, what's going on. And uh, Matt, I remember Matt, Matt got grounded for, like, fucking a month and a half. And he calls me up. He's like, dude, I got grounded for a month and a half. What happened to you? What would your dad do? I was like, my dad told me if he ever stole me with a book of matches, he'd break my fingers. <laughs> he's like, that's it? That's all that happened to him? I'm like, that's it. Dude, like, I, what the fuck? <laughs> dude, I always skated through and never got in trouble for the super shit we did. Like, we were in, I think, like, 10th grade. We took the train out to the city for the marijuana march. You guys ever hear about that? No. Like, people I heard would, about the sick Vic march. Yeah, the people would come to- Making toilet seats! Yeah, people would, <laughs> come, people would come together in the city, and they would just fucking, like, light up blunts, and they were, like, you know, trying to get, like, marijuana legal and shit. So I went out to the city for the marijuana march, and uh, 
My buddy's like, yo, it's chill, man. Like, we'll roll blunts. We'll fucking smoke. You could smoke anywhere in the city. It's like that. So we, like, are walking through the streets, and we go down, like, this little, like, cut through or whatever. He's like, yo, let's light up a blunt right now. So he fucking pulls out the blunt, lights it up, and the blunt was about to go to me. So the kid takes another pull, and, like, this homeless woman, like, walks up. She, like, duct tape on her shoes and shit. She was, like, rough looking. So she was, like, D-Rock at, b- at a bus stop? Yeah, yeah. So then she looks at it. She's like, oh, what's that? And my buddy's like, yo, it's a blunt. And she's like, oh, cool. Bang. Pulls out her fucking shield. Oh, my God. A homeless cop lady? Undercover. This other woman walks up, like, mad professional, nice skirt, heels, clean looking. Another cop. She was homeless. No, they all were <laughs> cops, dude. They just fucking bum rushed us. We had like four undercover cops like surrounding us. How and old were you guys? We were like in ninth, tenth grade. We took yeah. Oh, you were that there. young? Yeah. So my buddy who had the blunt was the only kid that got <laughs> in trouble. Well, yeah. And he spent like the entire weekend in the city in jail until like Monday. No, oh, as a fucking yeah. ninth grader. Yeah, dude, he was fucked. You got a bench warrant over the weekend. You're fucking toast. Did no yep. one claim? Yo, one kid. They were at like uh, electric EDC. They were there, and this kid he went to fucking. Uh, they were they were all there, and all of a sudden they couldn't find him. They're like, "Yo, what happened?" Like they were like, "Oh, he was he was with some girl or some shit." So no one could find this kid. So then his dad goes into um and starts like asking around all his friends. So then we're all texting each other like, "Yo, when's the last time you saw him? When's the last time you saw him? When's the last time you saw him? When's the last time you saw him?" They're like, "We saw him. You know, he was with some girl, and they were like, you know, running off together. I thought they were smoking dancing. Apparently, he offered her coke, and it was like an, an undercover cop. Damn. And it happened on like a Friday, so he was locked up till Monday. So everyone thought this kid was like dead, like in an alley somewhere, and it was turned he out was locked he up. was just like you know trying to sell like some coke. Locked my, I guess, yeah. They won't let me out. Yeah, that shit happened to me, bro. And my the minute I got home, my dad instantly knew what happened. He did. Right. He was like an OG. So like, I went out to a club, got b- obliterated, and then like. We had, like, Molly and everything in the car because, like, whatever. We yeah, to, like, sell it was, it was a time. Day. Yeah, it was that time. And uh, it's always ended up getting to a fight <laughs> in the club parking lot, and then we all got arrested. Oh. And, uh, yeah, till Monday. And I get home. I'm all fucking bent out of shape. Yo, you probably Shirts all like ripped shit. open. Yeah. Probably no money. Like dry blood this is you. This is what happened. So that all happened, and then I was in the middle of Hempstead. I was Damn, like boy. 20. You were doing Molly and Hempstead? Well, you went to I'd never done Molly in my life. Oh, okay. And, no, it was that place called... Spa, spa for spa. Hours. Yeah, my friends used yeah, to all yeah, go yeah. there. So whatever, it was cool. And then we, and then I, they let me go. And I'm in the middle of Hempstead. Uh, lost my wallet, and I have a uh, dollar fifty in my pocket and no cell phone. Oh my <laughs> god! And, and I'm like 21. They just kicked me out in the street to Hempstead. And Hempstead was, is like the spot. It's pretty ghetto over there. Do they even have pay phones <clears> anymore? Like what? You just had to walk into places and look. I was at Seven Eleven, so I walked to the near. I was just walking until I seen like the nearest Seven Eleven. I'm dying of thirst. I'm starving. You, you, d- Arizona, <laughs> 99 cent Arizona. I went in there and. Right, I was like, I need to make a phone call. And I only knew my cousin's number, my cousin uh, Angie. And I'm like, hey, I'm in Hempstead. I'm like, what's the address here? I'm like, I don't have my cell phone, so I'll be waiting outside. Please pick me up. The guy's like, yo, you want a cup of coffee or something? I'm like, yeah, I'd love a cup of coffee. He gives me a cup of coffee and a roll. I sit outside on the curb, wait for my cousin, bro. I just passed out. <sighs> no, you didn't, did bro, you? I must have looked like a moron. Yeah. Whoever yeah. came there, my cousin <laughs> picked me up, went home. My dad's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, what's up? <laughs> you're like, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> like uh, yeah, and, uh, my phone dies. I slept at my buddy's house. He's like, where'd you? He's like, what precinct did you stay in? Uh, oh, damn. Right he was a G. Yeah. He was, I was like, a damn, G. damn, bro. How'd you know that in two seconds? He's Dude, like, this. A fucking idiot. I had a friend. He got all fucked up, passed out in uh, Penn Station. And he woke up, and his pocket was cut off his pants. And they cut his wallet out of his pants and just left him there. Damn. Like, <laughs> Ruth, <laughs> Ruth, <laughs> Ruth, 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 Ruth. Bro, bro just reach your fucking hand and take the wallet. Why did they just take the wallet out of the pocket? Like, why do they... He I don't know, dude. I don't wake him up, bro. They were respectful. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, yeah, I'm not I think you would wake up more from someone cutting your pants. I don't know. I got a sharp ass knife. I could probably cut your wallet. Yeah, out my, yeah. Right my now. knife is pretty sharp. Yeah, but right you're now. gonna feel like you're gonna feel that. No, you're, well, if, I guess if you're passed out drunk, you're really not. I mean, that's what I mean. You, Pat, Pat clearly could have stolen my wallet in Atlantic City, bro. This guy's having like falling conversations, pushing me and shit, and I wouldn't even fucking wake up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't even remember the conversation. Nah. <laughs> yeah. We had a heart to heart that was deep. I'm sure it was. I'm sure. Yeah, the fights last night. Shout out to Gregor, dude, coming through on a big win. He dude, needed, he that, needed that shit. That was awesome. He uh, that was a fir- tough first round, man. Fir- yeah, was it was. It say. was a wild first round. I had him. He, I thought that the other guy won the first round. Yeah, oh, I think Gregor was down the first round for because sure. yeah. he, he had a lot of take. He had a ton of takedowns, but they were kind of like insignificant. Well, what scared me was that he, yeah, he had a lot of takedowns, but he had a hard time keeping the guy down. Bro, he man. just outworked that guy, bro. That's just- exactly what it is, Gregor. Dude, Gregor is the most obsessive person I've ever met in that, my life. So he that was the is, guy? I, that was the Eminem guy? 
Yes. Tell that story. So years ago at the gym, <clears throat> this is before Gregor was even in the UFC. I think even before he had his first professional fight. But so background on Gregor though. Gregor is a four time division one all American, right? For wrestling. And if you guys don't understand what that means, like the bad man. If you're general. if you're a four year division one wrestler and a good one at that, like you're a freak of nature. You're yeah. like wrestling is the hardest thing you can do. Gregor was a four time all American. Not peeing with and the bonus. Division harder. one national champion. That's as well, facts, dude. Right? So He's an animal, Big and uh, he was, like, so obsessive that, like, he wouldn't break his die for anything. They tried to offer him money to eat one green M&M, and he refused to do it. They were, like, offering him, like, $500 to break his diet. Like, just eat one M&M. One M&M it. for 500 That's crazy. Dude, he's, he's, I've seen him I'd spar. I'd eat one M&M for a dollar, bro. I'd eat an M&M for free. Just I would pull see, it out of your pocket. <laughs> I would see Gregor spar five five-minute rounds with a fresh guy every round, get out, take, like, a one-minute break. And then go run ten miles. Like you get on the treadmill and run ten miles. He's yeah. he's insane. That's we gotta get him on. He's the most dedicated person I've ever met, and that's his whole philosophy. He's like, shoot twenty takedowns and fail. You're gonna get the twenty first. Yeah, you know what I mean, and just wear him out. He can't, he can't sprawl for. Yeah, hell. that's what that's yeah. what Rick saw that last night. night. That was so true. He's like, take twenty one shots. He's yeah. like, and you get. Bro, are you kidding? His whole thing five? is like he says, like like water to a rock. The water just keeps coming. And eventually, it erodes the rock away. Yeah. Like. Bro, what drives him? How does he fucking? That's insane. He's one of the most dedicated, disciplined people. And he was like this. It, like, how long would you say he wanted to be a fighter? Like after wrestling, he thought he didn't about the UFC. Fight, no, he didn't want to yeah, fight. Yeah, he actually didn't want to fight. But um, yeah, but wrestling's like one of those sports that, like, once you make it to college, there's nothing afterwards. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. So I'm like, Gregor's got a it, cool story too. Like he, um, will he, will he come on, Gregor? We could def- we could no, Gregor said. Yeah, I, I spoke to him. He wants to. He was. It's funny because when I when I first started going to Belmore, I knew Gregor a little bit, and I really had seen him at Long Island MMA a handful of times. And I I actually kind of thought Gregor was a dick. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't really, you know, Gregor. I, I never thought you were a dick. Please don't hurt me if you come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's funny. Like I started going to Belmore, and actually Gregor was one of the first people that actually like started talking to me at Belmore. Um, when I f- the first six months I was there, nobody even paid me any attention. Nobody looked at me. Nobody said shit to me. Like nobody spoke to me. Keith barely talked to me. Keith would be like, all right, wa- war- warm up at 4, we'll train at 4.30. So I'd show up, I'd be warming up. He wouldn't say shit to me until it was like, all right, Dave, over here. Yeah, that was like a normal like vibe for MMA schools back in the day. Like It yeah. was like, oh, you're the new guy? We don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. yeah. We'll train. Yeah. But um, Gregor's one of the first people I actually like, kind of became friendly with, and I remember telling him one day afterwards, like, I'm like, you know, I kind of thought you were a dick at first. He's like, well, it's because I was. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's like, I've grown up now. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you're the last person I expected to become friendly with, but... um. Gregor is a, uh, he's a good dude, man. He's got an interesting story. I won't, I won't tell it. Um, it'd be better served for have to have him tell it one day when he comes on. And um, I gave him one of our shirts a couple weeks ago, though. He loved it. He loved the fucking shirt. He was like showing everybody at the gym. Yeah, it's dope, uh, man. And the he, shirts are fire, though. He got us a bunch of sales. A lot of the kids he trains, they're like, those shirts are sick. They want to buy a few, and he's like, yo, go listen to their podcast. So yep. shout out to Gregor, man. He's a good dude, and I'm yeah. happy to see him get a, a win. Yeah, he uh, he needed that. He had a couple of losses. I actually trained with Gregor. Only one loss. Yeah, I know, but like it was a it was a bad loss. Yeah. He should have won that fight, and it's nice to come back and get the W after a loss. You know, yeah, it's a, it's a big sure. win. It he lost what via head kick, right? Yeah, yeah. Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that guy he fought last night was good, man. Yeah, he oh, that was. Guy he's was a good. Dude. They, good, said, man. they were they were saying that they think it's like the biggest like win of his career. Like that was yeah, like for his, sure. his he, toughest he's fight. like a he's a really high quality contender. That yeah. guy. Guy's yeah. got great jujitsu. You saw he put he put Gregor in trouble a few times. Yeah. He did. And yeah, he was, he I was, was throwing a lot yeah. of those takedowns, man. Got him in some bad positions. Yep. Dude, the, those grappling transitions were wild, man. They were scrambling like crazy. Yep. Gregor was in trouble a few times. Was that 145 like, or 155? 55. Yeah, but like all you guys said, though, it was all about just keep keep working because by round two, as good as that black belt was last night, man, he was getting gassed. Yeah, he just couldn't How keep can up he with not? That was just like an all, There was just so much pressure. Yep. Dude, Gregor, especially like when he gets on top of you, man. It's a nightmare. Rick was saying that too, like the way like he can use his weight. Like he says, it feels like there's like a 300 pound guy yeah. on top of you. The way it's he's a, like, driving into you. I I I sparred with him at um, Lima when they were on Gear Avenue, like their first gym, right? OG. Yeah. Wow, yeah. And um, Anthony D'Angelo was like, "All right, you're gonna spar with you know this dude Gregor Galipsi." I was like, "All right, no doubt." So we were just doing like lead hand sparring, just like you know jabs, hooks, uppercuts, whatever. Threw two. Just, he threw two. Yeah, just just with the lead hand. And every time I threw a jab, dude, he was already on my legs. And I'm horizontal in the air, hitting the mat. Yeah. That's how quick his shot is, dude. Oh, he really? covers so much distance, so fast yep. with shots. It's insane. Amazing. It's so I've never like went with somebody that was as quick as Gregor. Yeah. Maybe I'll do some wrestling privates with him. Dude, yeah, <laughs> it's, he would fucking it's, uh, teach you a lot of shit, man. Rolling with Gregor is like a different feeling from somebody else, but that pressure and like pace Ooh. and tenacity is insane. Like he, 
I'd get up and get dumped. Get up, get dumped. Does he do jujitsu? Yes. Yeah. He trains with uh, Carlos uh, Rosado. Yeah, Dude, at, uh, Gracie Baja and Joe Scarola. Yep. How black belt? How funny is yeah. it? How not, like not he, Gregor though? Gregor's not a black belt. Oh, he's not. No, Gregor's got like bl- obviously black belt level grappling. Grappling, yeah. From his wrestling stuff, but he's yeah. he's got good jujitsu too, and he yeah. fucking a lot of his wins are by submission. Yeah, head and arm triangle. Like, yeah, his head and arm triangle is disgusting. Yeah. How how funny is his best fisherman in MMA shit? Like he started that. Now, <laughs> Connor now, Connor now Connor's dude. getting in. Khabib's getting in. That was so funny. Yo, he funny said that Connor Gerlipsky cat. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying laughing, bro. Dude, what? This was last night. He said, "Oh, yeah. oh you didn't I'm see it." Yeah. McGregor's holding this fish that's like the size of this shaker bottle, and he's like, "Yo, yeah. not for nothing. Like, I'm the best fisherman." Yeah, or dude. Connor like, said that. Yeah, it's, he's like <laughs> he's like on a yacht with like a t- a fish like smaller than your microphone. Hold on, I he'll give you the direct. McGregor lost his mind, dude. We were talking one day after training, and I told him I'd never been fishing. He's like, "What the fuck." Oh, and that's like great. hassled. Did me you so see what he said in his interview? He's like best fish. He's like best fisherman in M- MMA, best uh, condition in MMA. And then he's like, I'm going hiking tomorrow. I'm the best hiker in MMA. That's <laughs> great. That's great. <laughs> well, this is what I mean, dude. He's crazy obsessive. He found out there's these like 46 peaks in New York State, and it's like a big thing to to summit them all. It's like the 46ers Club, or whatever. He's obsessed with it. He found out about it like six months ago. He's already done like 25 of them. Damn. Out of his fucking mind. Dude, that's yeah. so cool. But uh, he he dragged me fishing. The only time I ever went fishing was what? with him. Was it, did you have a good time? Yeah, we had a great time. Was, he you know he taught me with shit, and he was just like, I can't believe you've never fished. What the fuck is the matter? I'm like, I'm not interested. He's like, you're fucking coming with me. I was <laughs> like, great. I really don't think I'm going to enjoy it. He's like, you're going to fucking enjoy it. Like, he was like, <laughs> like I offended his religion. I think, I've been, I think I've been fishing three times. One time was at a kayak in Short Beach. I got like a little blue fish. That was exciting stuff. One yeah. time I fished off a dock in Northport, nothing. And then I went surf casting. Like twice last summer and got nothing. Got to go with B Rem though. I didn't catch pulling shit, monsters by the out of the way. water. I didn't yeah. catch a single fish. That's why it's yeah. called fish and not catching, Dave. Yeah, that's true. Are you oh, right? Yeah, we went. Yo, to, we, so. we went to Smith's Point. We did the, the surf casting during the fall run, dude. It was it was insane. <laughs> so shit. this is the picture. <laughs> yeah, look how small. I think that's a, is that a porgy, yo? <laughs> yeah, that's like a fucking porgy. What's then, the, what are you catching? This is it? the caption. <laughs> Read that shit. And he goes. Uh, he goes, this Gregor Galipsky cat is no way the hell, no way in hell the best fisherman in MMA, and it's not even fucking close. And he, <laughs> and he, and he goes, I am fishing. <laughs> and posts that. Dude, he's so Yo, is that a lawn chair on yeah. the fucking <laughs> boat, bro? It dude, is. Dude, he's so funny. <laughs> he got the umbrella, dude. He got a cocktail and shit. Hey, yo. Hysterical, bro. Yeah. Imagine Connor shout out, Galipsky. Shout out to Gregor on a big victory last night. We're talking about you on the podcast. Congrats, yeah, bro. Gregor! <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, I don't know how he would do against Connor. I kind of feel like he no, I'll be. He has like some, you know, strike. He's, he's a great, yeah, he's a great contender. But I mean, I think top fives would um, yeah, you know, I think Connor would give him a, a a good fight, especially for the the striking aspect of it. His striking's too good. Yeah, it's Connor's, crazy. Yeah, I'm excited. I know you guys aren't, but I'm so excited for this Connor Dustin rematch. Why he got my? You guys are gonna, you guys again. gonna be like, oh, you're the typical Connor, but Connor's no. gonna lay the no. beats on him. No, no, you I, think I, so? I, I would never. He's say gonna that. kill. Why? But every he was focused, Connor, in the last. Oh, Connor, so focused. He really he's not wasn't. doing this. He's not doing that. And then he got murked. He did. I don't know though. I kind of, I kind of agree with Ronnie though to a certain extent. I feel like when Connor has a rematch, he's much better. His like, mental is the best mental in the game. Yeah, like, but I also feel like he prepares well for them, like the yeah. second time around. I feel like I he, agree. I feel I, like he doesn't win fights past two rounds if he doesn't like he gets he gases out after two rounds. I yeah, know. but he beat Nate Diaz in the rematch and they went five. Yeah, and but I thought no, you could make an argument that fight went either way. I agree, but. He was a million times better in that rematch. Oh, that. for I, sure. This is the one time me and Ronnie agree about the fights. Yeah. <laughs> I, Connor is very good when it comes to rematches, and yeah. I think he does make the adjustments, and I, I agree. I actually think he's going to beat Poirier this he time. Under, he underestimated him the first time and really didn't, you know. Yeah. I mean, those low leg kicks were really what helped out Dustin. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so Dustin, like, yeah don't get me wrong. Dustin's, like, one of my top three favorite fighters. I love Dustin Poirier, just like Max Holloway. But McGregor's going to fucking smoke him, unfortunately. I think McGregor's going to know that those low calf kicks are coming again. They're probably going to train to... And you know low. Dustin Poirier's going to think that as well and switch up his game to something else. Right, that know? might not work. Didn't Connor go and donate like a half a million to like another charity that wasn't Dustin because of like the shit that Dustin oh, said Oh, I didn't know him? that. Yeah, I think it was yeah. like another Louisiana-based... Ch- it was like the most petty thing Well, he ever. was saying like, look, you guys never sent me over official paperwork on where the money's going for your donation and this and that. Oh, that's what he said to Dustin? Yeah, yeah. he was like, oh, you guys never shit. sent over the paperwork on what I'm donating to. I'm not just going to hand you $500,000. Like, tell me what fund it's going to go to, how it's going to be spent, and all that. Oh, so he never he never. So donated. he never did it to his donation, but he did it to another one in Louisiana in his same town. Yeah, that's And like then so Dustin was petty. like, look, I don't, I don't care. The money doesn't go to me anyway. 500000 into my town. I'm cool with that. That's oh, yeah, awesome. yeah, that's it. Yeah. He, seem, he seems like such a nice guy. Let's Dustin? talk about... Uh, yeah. 
Sorry. No, you're good. You're I mean, good. We can talk about Karate Hottie because I'm not really a big fan of her either. I was going to talk about Cerrone, man. Oh, uh, that was yeah, so. He just sad. lost his job last night. Did you see? Did you, <laughs> did you see the? Po- did you see the post game interview though? Post game. Post game. That's what I said. It's a game. Post match. I don't fight. know. Post fight. Post fight. Post fight. All right, bros. Whatever. It doesn't really <laughs> matter. Potato, potato. Yeah. Tomato, frittato. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was it was sad, man. Like he was like basically like talking about retirement. He's like, I don't know what to do. He's like, I don't feel like I have to stop, but like it's just not working. You should, like, man. Uh, yeah. That's not a. Yeah, and he's one, he's a hall of famer for sure. Yeah. yeah. He's a goat. He holds records and. Most head kicks, well, he most UFC wins. He's, like, t- like he's tied for, he's I think, most, he most finishes. He's a fucking animal. I know. Like, I inside just, and outside the octagon. You know what I feel like, too? Like, it's not like age. It's just like skill is, like, mm-hmm. passing him by. Like I, think, no, I think it's the age. You think so? I don't so? think it's his skill. No? The dude's an OG, bro. He's He has a shit ton of skill, but he's getting older. I don't think he really punches that hard anymore. He can't, like, move like I he mean, like, well, to. I look at, like, Randy Couture, dude, and, like, Randy stayed in it for a long time, too. I just didn't feel like the skill level was... was um, Getting a, getting better as fast as it is now. Yeah. Like guys are coming in and they're fucking like killers, yeah. dude. Well, I also think, think these guys are hungry. They want the contract. They need like yeah. Connor. I mean, uh, Cowboy. Donald fucking did all of that already, and he spends half his time paintball and fucking ATV and like he has a sick he's life. Still, he's still he's also got a lot of and he fights for fun. Dude. He's been in wars. Yeah. Randy Couture's style of fighting. He wasn't in a lot of wars, so he had a little bit long, more longevity, I think, because he didn't take as much damage as Donald has taken over. Uh-huh. Cerrone. Most of Cerrone's losses are stoppage losses. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's been he's been in some fucking battles. He's, yeah, he's definitely know. a banger, man. He like takes one to give one. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Yeah. And he has and that, no problem getting down and in there and getting hit to get hit. Yeah. You know what I'm and saying? Dude, it's been fifteen years of that. It, it takes its toll, you know? Yeah. He's thirty eight, relatively young age wise, but in fight years he's fucking Yeah, he's like a hundred. I think he's been in the UFC yeah. since he was twenty four. Twenty three. Really? He's been fighting yeah. since he was like, How old? He's like, like later thirty eight. Later thirties, yeah. He's been fighting know. since he's seventeen. I mean he he was in the he was in the WEC for years too, yeah, and had some crazy battles in the WEC. Mm. Back then, He's definitely know? a people's champ for sure. And I feel like when you take that much damage, though, like you just your body just shuts down quicker. Like yeah, I feel like you get knocked out faster. Like when you've already oh, yeah. been knocked out numerous times. Well, they said I think they you said only got so many. I think Eric, yeah, I think you and number. Eric were having a conversation. Like you can only get like knocked out so many times, right? And then your you body only takes so many punches. Not even just knockouts, man. You take. Everyone's got like a number where eventually all those punches you hit that number and then after that it's you're not the same. Yeah. You know? And then like you said, you've been knocked out once, it's easier to get knocked out again. It's yeah. just I think your body just like knows and then it's just like the littlest thing you just fucking yeah. it like shuts down. It's like, yo, I'm trying to save you here. Yeah. Because that's really what it is. Like Look what happened with Chuck Liddell. Oh, I know. He got yeah. knocked out and that was it, dude. Glass jaw, yeah. like the rest of his career. Bro, still rocking that Mohawk though. Dude, I know. He was a G. <laughs> still rocking that mohawk, probably still doing E and fucking everything else. Bro. I'm excited for Nick Diaz to come back. I think he's, oh, I man. Think, I think he he's gonna fight Jorge Masvidal at the end of this year. Nick, Nick Diaz, I Dana White cleared him to come back. Wow. I love Nick Diaz. I felt bad for him, man, because he was suspended for like five weed, years for, yeah, weed. for weed, and he was like, "Fuck you!" Like I don't even care. I'm he tried not to give back him back. a lifetime suspension. Yeah, for Dude, weed, and now insane. it's legal. Now it's legal. It's like, come on, man. You like and robbed that, that man, and he's he, a fucking big name. And yeah, he wouldn't and even let him in the. Con- every time his brother fought, he wouldn't let him in the building. I know. Yeah. He wasn't allowed to corner him. Yeah. I know. Dumb. It is dumb. And the but fans fucking love Nick Diaz. I know. Nick Diaz was well, like one See, of the reasons why I started watching yes, UFC. He was I my agree. favorite was fighter true. growing yep. up. My dad was a big fan of him. Yep. That's why I started watching. And then it went to Nate because Nick, like, Nick wasn't in there anymore. Yeah. So I'm excited for him to come back. I, I was. Too. I always said though, I'm very like curious to see what would have happened to like. Like MMA in general, if Nick Diaz was able to continue fighting, you know, would we have had a Conor McGregor much earlier? Because I mean, Nick is like the villain. Yeah, yeah. he talks shit. He's a he's a fighter. Brawler. Yeah, he puts he's on a one show. Of the nicest guys though. Have you ever met him? And they like, do. No. Yeah, I heard. He's, yeah, he's real nice. Well, he yeah. came, he came to Monster, didn't he? He came to Monster, and I seen him out in Vegas too. Like he's one of the like he's one of those guys. It's like he's the first one there. Last one to leave, kind of thing. That's like, dope. What were you talking about, sir? Nick, 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 yeah. Nick yeah. and Nate too. Yeah. Like when he fought Henderson Silver, dude. Remember that? Oh my god, yeah. he was like dancing, like laying down. Laying on the mat, yeah. like yep. his hand behind He's like, come on, come yeah. on. Yeah, yep. I'm going to California next week, and my buddy lives like 40, 30 minutes from Stockton. I'm definitely going to their gym and doing a jujitsu class. Dude, that's so awesome. Yeah, that's, I'm 100 percent doing learn, that. Stop, learn some Stockton slaps. I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm just here to learn a Stockton slap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you ever see the meme where it's like when Nate Diaz got beat up for five rounds but landed one Stockton sl- slap? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like him like this. <laughs> yeah, man, they've always been fighters, and that's what I always say. Like guys that really don't know the sport and like whatever. Like, like Nate Diaz and Nick Diaz are both fighters, man. Like they're not entertainers, you know. They're not athletes. They're fucking fighters, and like when they tried to pull 
Nate Diaz off the, the yacht in fucking Cabo. It's like the reason why he came in and did so well is because he's a fighter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's not an athlete. He's fucking a fighter, dude. He's you know? game as fuck. Yeah, he is game. Dude, Nick Diaz, I remember when he knocked out Robbie Lawler in like 2004. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's been around for ever. I know. Crazy. Both of them, him and Robbie Lawler, are still going. Yeah. Is Nick Robbie Diaz still going? Be like 30 no, years Robbie old. Lawler's done now. No, he's still fighting. No, oh, that was yeah. his last fight when he got knocked out by uh, Robbie Lawler. Got knocked out by. Was it Woodley? No. Y- no. Was it? No. I'm pretty sure he's still fighting. I don't think he retired. No, I think the UFC cut him. No way. Double check that. Uh, Fact check. I think so. What? Who? Robbie? I'm not, I'm don't, I mean, I'm not positive, but I'm like 80, 90% positive. Yo, I think get, he lost to Neil Magny recently. Yes. No, that no, wasn't even the fight I was talking about. Who did he lose to before that? He lost to... He uh, KO'd. So he, he lost to Dos Anjos. Yes, then to that, ben that Askren, was the one. And then Colby Covington, and then Neil Magny. So he's on a four-fight losing streak. Yeah, it's bad. When he did he fight Neil Magny? Uh, in August of last year. Oh, really? Damn. Okay, so I'm wrong. It says Robbie Lawler targets UFC comeback in 2021 after losing to Neil, Neil Magny. Magny. He also, fought last night. This also says... What was the outcome of that? He I won. don't remember. He beat uh, Jeff Neal. Uh, he beat Jeff Yeah, okay. he beat Jeff Neal. Was it decision? Um, decision? I don't know why decision. I said that. Decision. 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 Novis. Novis. Novice, bro. <laughs> Novice. Bigly. So Bigly. put this question yeah. of the day from Sean. Yo, before we get to the question of the day, though, I got to uh. get your weight up, not your hate up, though. Oh, Let's go. it's been a while since we had this. I feel like it's this. been a little minute. It has been a minute, man. Nick the hasn't co- been hating that much the lately. Ca- the karate hottie, man. Hate guys, it? Guys are sweating last night, and I'm not really feeling that chick that much. Well, she got a fatty. Did you see her when she was on top control and side control and the camera was right? <laughs> I, was in my, I was in my apartment watching that Roddy's shit. Roddy's she was inside Roddy's control. Roddy's just glued to the cheeks, not even watching yeah, the fight. Bro, she was inside technique. control on top of this girl. Her legs, uh, her, like, you know, you know when you stretch out your hips, like child's pose, bring yeah. it back. That's how she was, bro. It was her a, was so fat. It was a decision, Roddy. It was a decision. Yeah. A decision. I agree, though. Michelle Warson got a fatty. Yeah. Who? Michelle Warson. She got a fatty. Oh, Karate Heidi? Yeah. She's not like. She's not smoke. a show. Yeah, no, but she's hot. Yeah, I'm not about that life. Let me see. Eric is definitely about this life. Oh, Eric, yeah. Eric, yeah. Uh, Eric God is that? Sorry, karate, honey? yeah, yeah, she's hot. She's hot. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan. I feel like there's so many more like hot UFC fighters. Oh, like that girl, other Gina. G- Gina, what's her? Gina's what? a smoke. Yeah. yeah, Gina who? Gina, so, something with the C. Carano. 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 Yeah, I, don't I think like she's a smoke that. Show. Would you guys fuck she's Rose? Hot, Thug Rose. I love Thug nah. Rose when she had hair. No, I like her. With I the would shape definitely. Head. I'd be smacking that bald head. <laughs> 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 ain't, no, ain't nothing to pull on So Ryan's just yeah, smacking smack In the back it. of the head Dude right? I, I was so happy When she won But then Stock Stock brought up to me Like how weird her relationship is With that guy Cause he was like like They said they didn't have Any like romantic like thing But he's been training Or whatever In her life Since she was like 15 that, right? And then once they turned Like once she turned 18 They started dating He was like yeah We never did anything He was like 17 honestly yeah. Yo, so would you fuck Rose if you got to get Gorilla fucked by Pat Barry first, though? Wait, what? Oh, my God. To fuck Rose, you got to get Gorilla fucked What's by gorilla Pat fuck? Barry. What's Gorilla fucked? What's Gorilla fucked? Just pounding? Her fiance. Uh, he used to be in the UFC. Uh, He's a big dude. Really? I didn't even know she was married, right? Yeah. Fuck. Yo, and then we were talking about, like, Ronda Rousey. Gross. I never thought yeah. Ronda Rousey was attractive at all. Me neither. The even when she did, like, those, like, uh, the she could armor me all day. Bro, this guy's really? huge. Oh, you're, not get, you're not getting fucked by this guy, Ronnie. I'm punching that dude out. That's yeah, her Ronda, boyfriend, Ronda Rousey. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You got to get gorilla fucked by that dude, but then you get to smash. Rose. Oh, that's ro- that's Rose with hair. Let me see. Yeah, dude, with with hair, she's bro. fucking nah, beautiful. I don't man. like her teeth, man, and her face. What? Yeah, yo, she's mad cool too. If you, you have her on Instagram, no, she's mad cool, bro. She's always like gardening and shit. Thug Rose, yeah. I'm not about that either. Yeah, she's one. She's definitely my favorite uh, girl. Yeah, you're not about so anything, though. That's that's why we call you the hater. Yeah, I'm not really about anything. What are you about? Hate, hate, hate. Yeah, hate, hate, hate. yeah, that's it, man. It runs <laughs> through my, it runs through my veins, kid. I can't help. I gotta myself go home sometimes. and put water in Buck Nasty's mama's dish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hit this question of the day, Sean. You got something for us? Yeah, we're in a rush. <clears throat> the question of the day: I got uh, you could take one trait or asset from an animal and redesign it into the human form. Wait, what? One traitor so asset. So you're going to redo the human body. So you get to take one thing from an animal, whether it's something they do, some trait that they have, a uh, body part they have, something like that. What are you going to take and make a part of the human body? Dude, the way that monkeys eat bananas, dude. Oh, you the way they see that? Co- they just, like, fucking slam them <laughs> on their chest and shit? 
Dude, it's fucking. What about official. that? What about chimps' like ability to like climb or just their strength? Like they yeah. could they could rip humans like horse limb cock. from limb. The way uh, the, horse the, cock pad. The way that they eat bananas is dope. They Yo, eat them yeah. from the bottom. No, they fucking smash them on their chest. The the peel like splits open and then they fucking just devour the banana. Dude, it's official. <laughs> dude, it's so funny. It's like how we eat the the wings. The bu- <laughs> I was in Disney and all these people in Animal Kingdom and everybody's like trying to like take pictures of the monkeys and they're just like throwing sh- their shit at these people. Oh my they, god! They like shit in their hands dude, and throw. I would it at take you. the Silverbacks gorilla's strength. Strength, yeah. yeah. It's Did you ever yeah. see that one video where the, the he one, grabs a human, right? Yeah, he, yeah, he's just walking by. He's just casually walking by and he grabs a fucking guy and just drags him like, like as it's he's nothing. Like it's the, like, like it's the like the guy Hulk. wasn't even there. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're like the Hulk. Yeah. Yo, we were younger and there was a. Uh, uh, pet store on Sunrise High thing was called like uh, oh that's still there that crazy one where they have like the uh, wallaby like, walking around it was like uh, what is it yeah BTJ's oh that was on Sun- Sunrise Highway right yeah, yeah yeah and back in the day when I was young it was like the 80s maybe early 90s we used to go there and they had a fucking monkey called Sam and you were not allowed to say no to Sam because it would freak out in the cage so my brother reads this sign he's just like yo no yeah he's like I'm gonna say no I'm like don't do it man he's like no. Monkey's like, Wah. he's like, no. Wah. No. no. And then shits and throws it at my brother, oh, dude. It that's was the hysterical. funniest fucking shit ever, bro. T- what? It was in like a cage? Yeah, it was so, in like a the cage. shit could come through. Yeah, it was a legit cage. Yeah. <laughs> dude, so, so funny. You, Kids are so funny. So are you taking the shit ability? Is that your answer? No, no the banana eating ability, bro. It's dope. It's maybe like a magic trick. Maybe the ability to fly. Yeah. From a water pigeon? What about yeah. some of the, what about some of their visions? Right? Like a hawk, man. A hawk. Oh, just a Oh, I would, you can only take one trait. Like I would do speed. cheetah speed. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Cheetah uh-huh. speed. Uh oh. Those motherfuckers are fast, bro. He's Oof. down bad. Who the fuck let you in here? I can't see where the sweatshirt stops and the hair starts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bigly. Yeah. What up, shit pipe? What about you, D Rock? What are you feeling? Ah, that's a tough one, man. Yeah. I go with the kangaroo stand up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dudes yo, when are they, scrapping. When, 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 the the and the kangaroo's got the guy's dog, yeah. and he just punches the kangaroo. Yo, in the kangaroos face. are big, bro. Dude, they're nasty. Yo, they're nasty we, too. Yeah. We look at them like they look. Oh, cute! Like they're so cool. Like Australia, and like they're vermin. There, like they're <laughs> oh, cool. fucking like Australia, nasty. Like they, yeah. people hate. They're like giant rodents. They're yo, like big you, rats. That's how they do. If you ever them. go to wow. like, like Australia or any of those countries, kangaroos. If you see a kangaroo like sitting in the middle of a pond or like a middle of a body of water. That kangaroo is waiting for you to come in that water so he could drown. Drown you? Yeah. It's fucking no way. Yeah. No, it's true. Yeah. Holy vicious. shit. Yo, seal, you told me that. I didn't know that about seals. I thought they were like dogs of the ocean. Like, they want to fucking drown you, too. Yeah. No. Seals. No, I don't yeah. believe They're it. They're nasty. Seals They're nasty, nasty. yeah. Bro, yeah. Like, they'll seals. try and drown you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like, like what? Like fucking SeaWorld? My buddy Will yeah. used to... Um, <laughs> my buddy Will went to school for marine biology, and he used to volunteer at the Riverhead Aquarium. He's like... He used to have to tag the seals. He's like, they're fucking vicious as shit. Yeah. Tag them up? Like, hit them? No, like, put tags oh. on them, track them and shit. Like, and then they do, like... They'd get seals that were, like, washed up, and they'd, like, nurse them back to health and shit. And he used to do all that shit. He's like, dude, you'd have to get, like, five, six people in this room to wrestle seals, to give them a shot to sedate them so you could tag them. He's like, they're vicious as fuck. That's dude, crazy. I was out in Montauk. We went out to Montauk for, like, our little week vacation. I'm out in the water, like, probably, like, I don't know, 30 feet off the off the shore, right? And I'm, like, just, like, fucking around. It's, it's open, so I wasn't really going to do much spear fishing because there was nowhere for, like, the fish to hide and yeah. shit. So I'm out there. I'm, like, diving under. I'm probably, like maybe 12, 15 feet of water, right? So I'm going down, I'm coming up, going down, coming up. So I look at the shore, I see Lise, and she's like waving at me. So I'm like, oh, she's just saying hi. So I wave, and then she's like, seal, there's a seal. And I'm like, oh my God, bro. I'm like 30 feet offshore, dude. I just went under, put my gun in my hands back, and I kicked as fucking hard as I could, dude. I didn't stop kicking until my fucking stomach hit the sand. <laughs> Your fucking forehead. <laughs> yeah, right into the sand. <laughs> That's it, bro. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that... I don't think that they, I mean I guess they are, but I like I was on a uh, Dune Road. I went out there one night. Uh, I was with wh- whatever. We went out there. We hung out. Put out a blanket. Had a fire going. P- pull out the barbecue. It's like midnight, one a.m. and it's pitch black out there. And all I hear is like shit going on. I'm like, what the fuck is that, bro? And I put on my headlights to like all the rocks. There was minimum 150 seals wow minimum from here to like the parking lot right there damn i was like damn Fuck. started walking to them and they all ran in the water and yeah shit. but yeah. you look in the water and all their heads are it was so cool it was yeah. so cool to see i mean i heard that they're aggressive and i heard that they're mad curious so like even if that motherfucker didn't want to come up and eat me i wasn't about to get bumped by one yeah, sniffing yeah. you like yeah you know, all no, up don't, in don't, don't you have your spear gun though yeah Yo, you should take him down just take it yeah right man lisa would kill me I I better than you fishing. being killed it's by you, it's a seal. It's you with a seal, dude. I'm, 
I'm fucking coming to shore. I got this fucking big ass <laughs> seal at the end of my spear, dude. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I caught something. I wonder you know? how. I wonder how heavy they are. They got to be like at least 100 pounds, dude. Right? They were more. They, yo, their heads are huge. Their heads are huge. Yeah. They got big fucking domes. Probably man. like 150 to 300. Yeah, some of them Definitely. get big. But that was that was all I was thinking. I'm like, yo, I'm not about to have this motherfucker come up to me, start sniffing me, bumping me, seeing what I'm all about. I'm out there by myself. Like, yeah. fuck that, dude. Nah, I'm you scared of the water now. Fucking shoot the thing. I, well, I didn't see him. He wasn't that close, but uh, yo, I wasn't th- about to. There's some big seals, bro. Yeah, yeah like 600, 500. A, har- a harbor seal is 130. A harp seal is 290. Damn. A leopard seal is 780. Damn. That's I crazy. wonder, what do we have here on Long Island, though? I think the second one you said. What was the second one you said? There's a southern elephant seal, and it weighs 4,900 to 8,800 pounds. Damn, it's man. a whale. 8,800, yeah. That's a fucking whale, dude. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Stick you, it in the blowhole on a whale. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Do you ever see, like, the killer whales, like, just so toss the seals around? Yeah. Bro, it's like, crazy. the seals not even... Or, they, like, they throw them back and forth. Like, yeah. They play, they play with them. Or how they hunt. Yo, oh, whales yeah, they, are yeah. smart, circle them. Yeah, they're so smart. They'll circle, and if, like, the, the seal, like, winds up going, like, on a glacier or some shit, yeah. they'll, like, cause waves to knock that seal yeah. off. Yo, it's they're crazy. fucking smart, Yeah, they're dude. super smart. I'm terrified of the water now. Are you really? I'm terrified of the water. Like, I used to be so pro beach i'd swim out like 100 feet fucking all over the place but like one time i was on the north shore i was having a couple of drinks i went on my jet ski i pulled it up to the beach this was last year i haven't been in the water since and i pulled it up to the beach i anchored it i went up to the bar and all of a sudden i turn around and my jet ski's floating out to sea and if you know the south shore it's not that scary because fire island's like two and a half miles that way but like on the north shore connecticut is it yeah far yeah so my jet ski is probably from like here to like my truck okay i'm like all right not too bad. I had, like, a couple rum punches. I'm like, I took my hey. life jacket off like an idiot, and then I started swimming out there. And if you know, North Shore is deep as fuck. Like, you walk out 10, uh, 10 feet, and it's, like, 20 feet deep. Wow. So I'm swimming out to my jet ski and not even thinking about it. I'm like, there's a breeze. I look up, and my jet ski's even farther, and all of a sudden, I'm just, like, going out. And I'm like, fuck, I don't have my life jacket. And at this point, I'm f- fucking flipping out, anxiety through the roof. I'm about to drown. <laughs> I'm swimming back to shore as hard as I can. I'm not really going anywhere. And I'm like, now I'm panicking. I'm like, drown. I'm like, I can't move. Like, my body's going into shock. It was mad cold. And I f- it took me literally like 25 minutes to get back to shore. I thought oh, I was going to die, bro. You had to be so I got on. I got onto shore. I was by myself at that. No one was around. Damn. I got on shore and I was like, bro. And not, not for nothing. I've been on the North Shore so many times with my boat. Like, my girl, we used to go out there all the time and like whales would be going next to us. Yeah. And we, so I'd see all that. So whatever. Now it's like, I'll, I'll never get back on the water. I don't Wait, know why. so what happened with the jet ski? So the jet ski ended up going halfway to Connecticut. I couldn't see it anymore. No. I just bought it. Oh I'm my like, damn, God, bro, what am I going to do? My buddy was on his way to meet me on the jet ski. So fucking at this point, I'm like, all right. So that was a nine buoy. That's where it was headed. It's somewhere that way. My buddy came in. I'm like, yo, let's go. Hopped on a jet ski. We just kept driving, 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 like f- probably four miles, like almost halfway to Connecticut. Oh my, my jet ski God. was just floating in the water. So fucking, Damn. I was like, yo, I was terrified. I didn't even want to jump on my jet ski because you got to get in the water to get on the jet ski. Yeah. And, you're and it was like 150 holding. feet deep m- minimum. Yeah. So what the fuck swimming down there? So and shit. I was like, yo. So I got off. I got on my jet ski. I was like hugging it. Right. I went back to shore, put that bitch on the trailer. I didn't have went it. Home. I haven't went out since. Wow. Yeah, you still have it? Can you no. see? Oh, you sold it. Sold right? it. In yeah, that water, like when it. you're when you're that like four f- like four miles out, can you see down below or is no, it it's dark? It's like, dark. No. It's not like clear. And there's like, there's no. sharks in there. There's whales. Yeah. In there. No, I know that's what I mean. You can't see no. like down below that. Yeah. Oh. yeah and I'm like so, that. I'll go to the beach like here, and but uh, where I can stand, I won't go to where I can't stand no more. Yo, I went I went spear fishing out in Block Island. And it's dope, you know, like the visibility was good and shit, but there's times where like you drop in and the boat is not anchored, so he's just kind of, I guess, drifting. And like you drop down a couple times, like you're you're basically doing like a dead man float so you mm. can catch your breath and yeah. shit. And there was one time where I, I went down, I'm looking around, checking out rocks, there's like some shit that's buried there and stuff, mm-hmm. and I come back up and the boat must have been like 150 feet away from me. Yeah, that's crazy. And I'm waving my hand like, yo, come please pick me yeah. up, bro. And like, you don't know what's around you, man. Mm-hmm. Like, you start like, yeah. you start mind fucking yourself. Yeah. You're like, yo, what's down here? What's yeah. coming? Yeah, it gets Were you wearing a life jacket? No. Yeah, see? No. Wetsuit, just floating and swimming, kid. That's it. And uh, I don't know. I think about that story, it gives me a chills because I, I like literally it was like this close from drowning. It was insane. Out at Smith Point last year, I saw a fucking whales breaching. Yeah. That's bro, sick. you go to Fire Island a lot? I don't go to Fire Island. Really? I just go to Smith Point, yeah. If you go to There's Davis and you look it. out, I mean, I'm sure you guys work there all the time. How many times do you look out and you see the whales fucking yeah. I've blowing? Yeah. I've, whales, I've never dolphins. seen them. Well, seen Smith whale. Point is, the, is Fire Island, yeah, basically, yeah. just yeah. on the east side, mm-hmm. you know, so... Oh, you remember that dolphin last year at the at the beach house? I had a beach house for a week. We're on the beach, and this dolphin stuck. It's, like, hurt. So I'm standing on the beach. The dolphin's, like, right there. 
Damn. And the, 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 it's pushing it onto the sand because it couldn't make it out. Mm. So, like, we all had our hands on it trying to push it back out, like, past the waves. Oh, it shit. just kept coming back in. So, like, uh, I don't know, animal police came in and ended up taking a dolphin out <laughs> and, like, putting it to sleep. <laughs> no. But, yeah. They killed it? Was it was hurt, yeah. Damn. When you really think about it, dude, the ocean is, like, Everybody talks about like outer space and aliens. Like the ocean is, is yeah. full of aliens. One hundred percent. Yeah. Well, you you got to think about like you know, think about before you know like before they came to America. You know, like back in the fucking you know thirteen fourteen hundreds when nobody knew what anything was. There's all these stories about fucking monsters in the sea, man eating creatures, and it's like, dude, those things were real. These yeah. giant squids and yeah. the fucking whale, like they're real. Yeah. It wasn't like folklore yeah. it just you know now it's just part of what we know exists but like how many new species do they they discover every year in the ocean that they didn't know exist i saw this thing that um you know that instagram page uh nature is metal yeah yeah that, that there's a, that's a, there's fucking a picture sick. of this fish and there's this, some species of parasite that works its way into the fish and attaches itself it kills the, the fish's tongue you posted that on the chat Oh, yeah, 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 okay, you guys saw well, it. Yeah. Continue, the, though. The thing becomes its tongue. <laughs> like, this was like a myth that they thought of, and now they have a picture. What, if, what, what are you hating over there, motherfucker? I'm, hate, I'm hating, hating on, on me, terrorists. bro. But, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's all types of fucking aliens in the ocean, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we, squid, bro, octopuses, those things are fucking aliens. I love yeah. calamari, though. Yeah. Oh. So do I. <laughs> She's She's gay. Slaps. Big, bigly kids. She slaps, notebook slaps. <laughs> <laughs> the show was so funny in class. Yeah. yeah, but we don't even know half the species that are down there. We yeah. need to scratch the surface yeah. on the shit that's yeah. down there. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, there's some fish that don't even come up, dude. They're, like, so deep in the yeah. water. They it's don't. Crazy. They just, like, live in the dark. That's a completely yeah, yeah, other they world. Don't. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. a completely other world. And that's what you Fuck feel like, ocean. man. Like, when you're spearfishing, like, it's a, it's a solo sport. So you're down there. There's no noise. There's nothing familiar. You feel like you're in a different world. Yeah. And then you just start, like, getting in your own head, you know? I, remember I won't even go out on a boat into the ocean. Like, fuck that. Oh, really? <laughs> fuck I, I like that. I like boats. I'll go out on a boat and shit, but... The bay is where I stay. <laughs> yeah. My first time spearfishing, dude, I dive down. I'm like, oh, this is dope. I'm, like, sk- like swimming by rocks and shit. And I'm like, oh, look at that rock. Like, rocks? Get, what's that? Rack rocks? Yes, yes. And uh, I, I fucking come close to a rock, and I'm like, oh, that's weird looking. And, like, I get, like within inches of this thing with my face and it was a spider crab uh. and the motherfucker just like flexes on me dude <laughs> and I was like him with a shank. I went right up to the surface dude really? like, alright it was just a crab it was just a fucking crab yeah. I've seen like uh, Stingray down there and shit oh, just wow. oh, really? swimming by me and shit yeah That's crazy. Did you punch it for Steve Irwin yeah yeah, yeah I should have would have been on site for that dude <laughs> <laughs> I just let it go I was like I ain't starting no beef down here dude those, <laughs> get, those get huge too yeah this guy was this guy was pretty big I'd say he's probably like four feet uh, what yeah with the tail what? Yeah, with the tail, the body's probably like what, maybe three feet. Damn. Yeah, that's pretty that's big. A big fucking they, they have yeah. they have massive ones though that are like fucking. Mm. I don't know. If they're I don't know if it was feet. deadly. I don't know if it was like a stingray or like whatever the other thing is. I think there was like another name for it. The fucking. Uh, I would like to go spear fishing. We should go. Yeah, but well, uh, like, what do you tie yourself off to the boat when you dive in? No. Yeah, we can go in ten feet of water. We ain't nothing catching. What are you gonna catch? I was catching blackfish. In go ten feet of water. Yeah, you go right by the rocks. Go to the inlet. Boom. Go in, 10 feet of water, dive down. The blackfish love the rocks because they hide. You just go down, you see a blackfish. And you could see good? It depends on the tide. Oh, yeah? Yeah, sometimes, like, you know, you get that tide and shit's all murky. So you've caught fish, spearfishing before? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. My first meal at my new house was the blackfish. Really? Caught. Yeah. That's dude, sick. Blackfish How is big was amazing. It? I, bo- I caught, like, five of them. Oh, damn. Just wow. plugging, dude. Plugging. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get a set. Why did vegans not get upset about fishing? They I do, don't know. They, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good question. They do, dude. don't they? No, they don't. I don't remember hearing anybody like, really just... I think they get us. I go on these motherfuckers. Well, yeah. you know, I've, I've always said it's like, if you think about like fishing so fucked up, it's like us walking down the street and, and, Lu- and Luigi being like, yo, so, you know, this, that, and the third, and all of a sudden he just gets hooked and ripped out yeah. of our world. Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? Made a, uh, <laughs> there's a comedian that did a whole skit about that. It's like fucked <laughs> up, dude. Dude, no. Mitch, Mitch Hedberg is so funny. No, I, was, I wanted to talk about Rogan, him before. Actually. It's just Rogan did a whole thing. It's like a fucked up concept. If people fish for humans, you're like you were saying, you're walking down the street and all of a sudden you just get hooked and you're out. Gone. <laughs> like, damn, he got caught. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, look, Luigi's grabbing for that dollar. Psych, wank, and he's yeah. gone. And then, and then you're lucky if he comes back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or he does come back, he's got a hole in his cheek. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you think about it, it's kind of like a fucked up concept. But with, with spearfishing, there's no like catch and release. Unfortunately, no, because yeah. you're fucking you're blasting through them. Yeah, you're putting a fucking, through yeah, through a fucking hole through the motherfucker. So, yo, manta rays get to be twenty nine feet. That's what it was—a manta ray. Dude, but I don't Portuguese think Portuguese man of war. Those dude, are fucking those terrifying. Were, is yeah. that a jellyfish? Yeah, but it's it, like a it, yeah. species, a subspecies of jellyfish or something like that. They I think. fuck you up. They're fu- yeah. yeah, they're crazy. and they're huge. They electrocute you and shit. 
But yeah, Ronnie, we could go right to Merch's Inlet, dude. Take Smith's Point all the way down, and we could just walk right into the water, jump in on the rocks, and just be in like eight, ten feet of water and just yeah. hug the rocks the whole time. Might get, be down for that. Get yourself some fins. Get yourself fucking snorkel, dude. And I'm down. Maybe. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you, that shit terrified me, bro. If yeah. I can't stand up. Yeah, it's weird, though, like I said, yeah. because, like, it's not like you and I are down the water, and I'm like, yo, Ronnie, check this out. Like, it's a, it's a solo mission, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, you're by yourself, in your own thoughts. And the goggles, man, when you wear the goggles, like, you really just have, like, no peripherals. Yeah, you know just what I'm saying? whatever you're looking at. Straight ahead, yes. So some could be right here, you got no idea. Yeah, so you got to have that head on a swivel, boy. Dave, they get to be 165 feet. Are they they're, deadly, they're though? They're tentacles, yeah. Oh, no, no, what'd what? you just look like up? Like a pa- Portuguese man of war. Okay, what was the other one you Good. said, man? Man array? Man array. Oh, those... I think they have to stick that barb through your fucking... Yeah, I didn't, think, I didn't think every, like, stingray was deadly. I don't... I think he just they're got... Not. I don't think they're typically... Not, right? I think no, it's just where uh, it got him. It went, like, through his heart. Oh, no, okay. stingrays are definitely deadly, but then there's, uh... What's it called? Stingray and then, uh... What's the other name for stingray? Man array? No. Yeah, there was something else. The ones in the bays. Floppy boy. That's what I'm saying. I they're thought they're uh, flu- uh, no, fucking wow. Drawing a fucking drawing a blank kid. <laughs> Great white sharks. It's also the F. I know that. No flounder fluke. Damn. Pigs are again. What's a skate? Oh, that's a, that's wait, like wait. a stingray. Yeah, in the family. But there's wait, no. Wait. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't die from. What are you talking? A pig's orgasm lasts for hours. Yeah, you didn't know that. No, no, no. That's I gotta, that's your trait that you want. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's he wants. That's your animal trait. So you want to be able to. Nut there's another for question. Half hour? Would you rather have the ability? What's the matter? Oh, you can tell me. Uh, this is not video video podcast, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> <You're> good. <laughs> uh, I'll fix that. I'll fix that later. <laughs> well, back to the, the pigs coming. <laughs> uh, would you rather have the ability to have a pig's orgasm, which is like I think it's like three hours long or something oh crazy? Oh my god! I don't or that's too fuck much. like a lion, which is like you can fuck like thirty or forty times a day. Yeah, they yeah they they fuck like cra- crazy. I would do lion. I don't have time to orgasm for three hours. No, no. <laughs> no. Ronnie's trying to write estimates and yeah. shit. He's still shaking. <laughs> fuck it, I'm good. I feel like that'd be too much. <laughs> I stay hard the whole three hours. Yeah. Like is the pig hard all three hours? That's even, what I mean. Like as he's coming, is he still uh, hard? Like I don't even know what a pig dick looks like. I'm, I'm shooting. <laughs> I'm googling pig dick right now to see what it I'll looks definitely like. Definitely be able like a lion. No, I'm, yeah. I'm going with a pig. Are you though? You'd have yeah. to set. You'd have to set so much <laughs> yo, time. Like yo, we're fucking at six, and I'll hang yo, out at ten. Yo, I t- yeah. yo, I typed in pig dick <laughs> to see to see what a pig Isn't dick it curly? looks like. It's <laughs> curly. Oh my god. I think I think a pig dick is curly. It's like a fucking corkscrew. Well, yeah, like no, that's a tail. A curly. Oh my god, the bird the bird dicks are weird. They're they're curly. Yeah. I thought that was a pig dick. I thought the pig dick had like, like Yo, I'm, just, I'm just staying in bed for the rest of my life. Well, that's what I'm saying, dude. If you're orgasming yeah, for three I don't, hours, I don't need to fucking do anything else. That's it. You're done. That's that's what we do all the other shit that we do for to get to that point. Yeah. <laughs> so why the fuck? Like, that's it. Yo, you call up Luigi. Like, yo, what are you doing? He's like, I'm still coming. <laughs> <laughs> are you coming to Cabo or you're still coming? I'm in just here? coming. Yo, I'll be there in like two hours, dude. I just fucked. I'm still coming. <laughs> That would be bananas, though, dude. Like sometimes, Too long. Yeah, like sometimes you nah. get drunk, you fucking tripping out and shit. Like, I just want this to stop, dude. I'm done with this yeah. ride. How, how did they figure that out? They were like, that the pig was still not, like, is this shit just coming out for three That's hours? That's what I'm saying. Are you gooing all over the floor? Or it, is this is this pig walking with, like, a fucking, like a shake like a shake to him and shit? He's eating, he's still, like, shaking? I don't know. I don't know, but I want to find out. Yeah? <sighs> Go to the ecology center. Jerk one off. <laughs> oh my god! No, I want the ability so I could f- like see what it feels like to come for three hours. Now, if you came for three hours, would you fuck as often, or would it be like a yeah? I was just once a right week back. thing. No, yeah, it's like once a month. Dude, thing? three hours. That's, that's, that's a once every eight, four th- hours. That's thing. an eight. That's an. I need eight. at least an hour to recover. <laughs> that's it. That's an eighth of your day. Just yeah, coming, dude. They must be happy. Happy as a pig and shit. Imagine that guy driving and jerking off while he's driving. Probably crashes. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Rear ending everybody. <laughs> Car is, all fucked up. car is covered in fucking semen because he's been fucking jizzing for the last three hours. That's you probably have to like go around with like a Gatorade bottle just to collect all that shit. Yeah. Like those big Gatorade jugs that like the football players pour on their coach. Yeah. You just got to have that in your back seat. <laughs> oh. Drive with that between your legs. <laughs> How's everyone feeling on the mats lately? Feeling good, man. I'm happy. Terrence is getting fucking good, too. Terrence is getting good. Everyone's looking good. You're looking everyone. good, Ronnie. Putting it together. Pat's looking all right. Pat's all right. Yeah. You know, <laughs> he's all right. Last Sunday, we had a good time at Rick's. Saturday. 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 Yeah. Saturday. It was a, it was a good was session. A good no. 
Um, <laughs> and uh, no, I'm definitely happy because like the last year because of COVID, like my training has been like so inconsistent. Like that's like an understatement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, when I get back on the mat, I'm gonna have like no cardio. My timing's gonna be off. I'm dealing with this stupid injury on my knee. And, like, I feel like just last week, I feel like my cardio, I noticed, has gotten better. My timing is getting back. Mm-hmm. And it's it's nice to feel. Like, I t- I, forget, I think it was you I was telling. I was like, yo, I'm super excited for class. Oh, no, it was you, you Ryan. Tell me, yeah, we yeah. were talking here. I was like, I'm super excited to go tonight. Like, I got, like, the itch. I'm, like, fired up, yeah. you know? So, training's been awesome, man. That's Fucking good. definitely happy. Yeah, I thought it was cool how they broke down the Baron Bowles the other night, like, inverting, like, in, like, you know, with, like, the knee, toe, like. Yeah, they called? broke it down in three different stages to get inverted. Yeah, it was so a good way to teach them that, too, because yeah. I, I could see why. Like, they were doing that, I'm like. Okay, but if you didn't know all those individual steps, you wouldn't know where you're fucking the Baron Bolo. Well, it's actually yeah. funny. So my, my boy Galvez came last night. I've known him since he was like 15 years old. Mm-hmm. He got into jiu-jitsu because of me. He came to a tournament one year, Battle at the Beach. He was out in Jersey, and he came just to come, and he's like, yo, I want to start training. So he started training with me. We went to schools together and shit, and I've known him since he was 15. He's like 32 now. So it's been a long time that we've been buddies. And uh, he's like, yo, how's Breathe going? I'm like, yo, it's dope. We're learning all this different shit. A lot, a lot of modern jiu-jitsu. And I told him about Baron Bolas. He's like, oh, man. He's like, I'm too big. He's a big boy. He's like, I don't think I can go inverted. And I'm like, you can. I'm like, they teach you the right way. <clears throat> like, we have big dudes at the gym that are going inverted. So, yeah. like, it's dope how they broke it down. Is he a yeah. black belt? No, he's a brown belt. Nice. He's brown. Yeah, it's good. The instructions really good to Breathe. I'm super happy about yeah. it. Yeah. The training all in all has been good, man. Yeah, I love going there. And all the training partners and everything. Like, it's a bunch of good people. Yep. Definitely. <laughs> I wonder where we're gonna go over this week. Damn, are we bringing the mats upstate or what? Yeah, we probably should. Why not? Train, you got you got mats. We could, you got mats. We could bring. rolled up, ready to go. I'm Let's not even it. using them. Let's do it. That'd be dope. Throw them I got the bike rack. I got the bike rack to save bed space. They have a bike rack to save yep. bed space. So yeah, it'd be dope. We should bring the mats, even if we don't roll. We'll roll put them outside. We can fuck around on them. Exactly. You know. Yeah. You know, and before UFC night. Yeah. Got a little amped up. Yeah. That's what we were doing. Yep. I it's know cool. we were fucking breaking it down the rug in mm-hmm. Parksville. It was so funny. Great content. Great content. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. My back hurts. Psych. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, I'm so fucking right. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's going to be great weather this weekend. Um, 60s, mid 60s, sunny. That's perfect. It's going to be great. Can jam, some yep. fucking outdoor games. Oh, yeah. So I'm leaving. Yo, we're, here. Leaving, this, we're leaving this week. Yeah, yeah. Thursday. It came up so quick. I when know. we booked it, I'm like, this is forever ago. One of you might have to drive my truck up there, though. Yeah, or maybe at least halfway because yeah. I'm getting a f- I'm getting tattooed from 11 to 7 at night. Yeah, I'm gonna be in pain and Tyrus, I'm probably gonna Tyrus, have a you couple. You could drive drinks. that big ass truck, boy. Uh, yeah. I'll oh, probably drive up there, but yeah, if you need us to, we'll drive. Yeah, I'm sure that you know I might swap for a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I know I'm gonna be in fucking pain. Shit, me and uh, me and Alex are gonna go look at those big cats to rent for the weekend. Yeah, dude, yeah, do, do it. Do it. I, think I think it's like 200 bucks for the weekend. Do it. Not even. Yeah, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do that too. I think you should instead of taking my parents' bike, I'll just go get a big cat. Yeah, you guys should, man. It'd be fun. I mean, like, I don't think we're going to spend a uh, crazy amount of time on the bike, but if we all decide, like, oh, let's check out a trail or let's yeah. check out one of these neighboring we'll towns. We'll definitely be going on That's what I'm saying. Sure. Like, definitely. Especially with all that property and everything, bro. We'll be going through trails and shit. Yeah. Fucking, for sure. Yeah, supposedly there are trails on the property. Yeah. So that'd we'll be dope. just fucking cruise around for, like, yeah. an hour or two a day. Yeah, yep. we, we won't even have to drive. No. Like, if we're going out to, like, dinner or something, just take the bikes, lock yeah. them up. Yeah, yeah, 100%, dude. it will be dope. it will be a good time. Is there a small town over there close? Supposedly, Taylor said there's neighboring towns only seven minutes away. So we'll fucking just bike there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fuck yeah. If it's seven minutes in a car, I could guarantee it's probably, like, 15 on a bike. And yeah. if there's all of us cruising together, it'll be fun as shit. And when it's know? nice outside, like, it's nice, better to be on the bike than in a car 100%. anyway. And you don't have to worry about parking. Yeah, 100%. Do you right remember the park. town it is? Uh, Ham- Ham- Hamden? Hamden? Ham- I believe it's Hamden, yeah. Hamden. H-A-M-D-E-N. Or yeah, yeah, Hamden. Uh, upstate, yeah, it should be fun though. It's gonna be a good time, and we'll all—it's a good group of people going up and shit. We'll have a fun time. Yeah, last time was a blast. Yep, this time we have more people going. D Rock's gonna be there with Alexa now. It's just hype. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, you know, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan and Michael are gonna come up and shit. So I like to put in a formal request for another uh, cheese board out of Alexa because that shit was dude, that shit was last dude, night. That was such a nice thing to walk into because like we went to Cajun Claws and like I I like seafood and shit, but like it's like yo. Fried this, fried that. Right, it's all fried garbage. Yeah, right. so I stayed away from it. So when I came in, I was kind of hungry. So I was like, oh, damn, man. That cheese, though. That, that hot fire. cheese. Yeah. That cheese. You bit, you bit. Bad, bad mango habanero. It was bad move, got fire boy. It was good. It was good. It was a little spicy <laughs> than I like, anticipated. Roddy's like, this isn't even spicy. And all of a sudden, he's like choking. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, but if you ate it with a cracker or something, it took it took it away. Dude, I ate it with a cracker. That jelly was the shit, though. That jelly was, was the shit. I was making sandwiches. What a huge <laughs> board to make! Like, it must have yeah. took her fucking three hours. It was a full tray. It was a full minutes. tray size. Really? She yeah. Went to meat forms and did in ten minutes. Yo, she told me fucked up story. She got she went to meat forms. She's in one of the aisles, and this woman's there with her son. And her son was like older, but he had Down syndrome. Oh, it's sad. So the kid, he wouldn't keep his mask on, and one of the employees comes with like, "Ma'am, you're gonna have to leave if you won't wear his mask." Are you fucking kidding me? So she's like. And Alexa's telling me a story. Alexa's like right there in the aisles. It's going on. And she's the woman's like, my son has Down syndrome. She's like, he won't keep it on. Like, like I'm literally getting a couple things and leaving. Like, I'm sorry. I'm trying. And the woman's like, well, you're going to have to leave. Like, and she's like, she goes over to try to put the mask on the kid. And he has like a meltdown, doesn't want to wear it. And she's like, look, he has Down syndrome. He has, you know, he has issues. Like, I can't get him to keep the mask on. And she's like, well, you're going to have to leave. And she's like, you can't just like look away for five minutes and let me finish. She's like, I'm getting a. 10 things and I'm gone. Yeah. And the woman's like, man, we've had a mask mandate for over a year. Like, you don't know. I would have flipped now. on that fucking yep. bitch if I was in the aisle. If I was there, I would have lost my mind. I would have. So uh, the woman's like, no, you're going to have to go. Like, please don't make me go get security. And she's like, the woman's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? And like, the, the, the employee was like a real bitch to her. It was like, well, you have to go now. Like, otherwise I'm getting security. We're going to escort you. I hate here. people like her. Like, bro, you're going to She should have made, a, po- she she made a post on Facebook about, about being hassled. So. She finally gets pissed off, and she's like, fuck this place, and throws all her shit and leaves. I would have sp- broken it I on the ground. I would have yeah. every yeah. Like this, yeah, like this, yeah. both aisles. So Alexa runs out after her and, and runs after her. She's like, ma'am, ma'am. And the woman's like, what, are you going to fucking yell at me, too? And she's like, no, 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 I'm so sorry. I was in the aisle. She's like, tell me what you want. She's like, what do you need? Alexa, man. And the woman's like, the woman's like, was like crying, have a meltdown. She's like, she's like, I- I'm divorced. My, my ex-husband doesn't help me. She's like, my son has Down syndrome. She's like, I come here because most times people don't give me a hassle. Sometimes he wears it, sometimes I don't. She's like, what am I supposed to do? It's like, if he doesn't have his snacks for tomorrow, he's not going to have a good day. Like, he's going to freak out. She's like, I just need to get his snacks. And you can't, you can't like, sleep on those Scooby snacks. Yeah. Yeah. So Alexa's like, what do you need? Do you have a list? Like, So Alexa goes in the store and gets it and brings it out to her. That's awesome. I would have done The, the woman thing. like had a meltdown, cried. She's like, thank you so much. I like, gave her a big hug. She's like... The world needs more people like you. Thank you so much. That's dope, like, man. Yeah, Dude, that woman should like. I don't. Know, she Alexa's probably doesn't even people. have Facebook, and she's like not even like worried about it. But like, that's the kind of shit. Like, you need to like take pictures of the woman, take pictures of the store. This is a location, and, and, th- and this is what yeah. they fucking did to me. Like, don't give them any business. Yeah, but we also need more people that would come together and just start standing up for that yeah. woman. I know uh, they should have. That it woman in the store. should know. Like, and I told Alexis, I'm like, wish more people knew. Because if that all that woman had to be like, yeah, my son has a fucking medical condition. Medical you condition. have to accommodate me. Yeah. So what are you doing to accommodate me? Yes. You're gonna make me leave the store, then you're gonna purchase all my shit for me. Because yeah. they have to accommodate you. Right. Yeah. Right. They have to. And yeah. they can't ask what the condition is. No. I, and, you and know what the condition is. Right. Look yeah. At the, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. They're discriminating my son because he has yeah. Down syndrome. He has a medical condition. Yeah. He's not wearing the mask because of a medical condition. By law, that business has to accommodate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you hand out masks for people who don't have masks. So what are you yeah. gonna do for me now? Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna get an employee. Here's my fucking shopping list and go get it. There. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent for sure. Yeah, you know? yeah. Just that's the thing though. When with like you said, these ten dollars an hour people get a little bit of authority. It goes yeah, to their head, you know. Take. And like what D Rock said too, like the the world is just filled with people that like love to take orders and be good at taking orders. Yep. And that's probably a, a perfect example. That girl was just like, "Yeah, I'm told people have to wear a mask. I got a little authority. They're in my my store, even though wear I'm a cash mask. Yet. Right? How do you not? Yeah. Re- how could you do that though? Like you see, like the sun, like right there. Like how are you gonna give that woman a hard time? I know like she's already having. Like, sure. I would have lost the rules. my mind. Like, have a heart. I would if I would walked over. If I walked there, like, and they told me that, I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm and not doing it. And who's complaining? I'm surprised people in the store didn't stand up. Like, hey, like, That's I don't, I don't have, I don't have a fucking problem with this. That's what yeah. I'm saying. You're the only one who has a problem with it. Yeah. Like, we see what's going on. It's one person. One person isn't going to cause a fucking coronavirus outbreak. No, and the coronavirus shit is like kind of over anyway, man. Yeah, it's, it's been garbage. over. It's been over. So stupid. I had a hard time working last year at the bar for that reason. I, w- I had a very hard time trying to enforce something that I don't believe in. Yeah. I yeah you that's why I barely walked. I, bar- I barely worked. <laughs> what? You enforced it on me pretty hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. I'm vibing with Schaefer and Ryan and sit down, put your mask on. I'm like, yo, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm like, Rick, you know this guy? He's like, yeah, sit down. Shut up. <laughs> I'm like, yes, sir. You don't want that. Yes, sir. Smoke. Yes, sir. You don't want that. <laughs> That's mad. Peeped his ears. I'm like, all right, I'm good. That's mad. <laughs> want me to leave? I'm out of here. Well, honestly, dude, I had a hard time doing that. It's not something I enjoyed. Nah, that's I why. I, that's yeah. why I didn't work a lot. Because I was like, yo, I don't think I can do this. It's hard to yeah. preach something you don't believe in. Yeah, you know? absolutely. You don't feel good about it. Yeah, it's bullshit, man. I feel bad for that woman. I mean, well, yo, Alexa made that woman's day. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's awesome. It's yeah. awesome. I was super proud of that. I was like, yo, you, 
you did the right thing, you know? And she's like, yeah, the, the world sucks. There's a lot of shitty people. I'm like, yeah, but there's people like you who balance it out. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Big shout out and to it's not like And it's not like Alexa got rung up. Like, she probably just left her cart there and ran out after the woman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so she's like, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and she probably spent a little bit more time because she hooked that lady up and then had to go back in for herself, you know? She was there getting all the shit for the cheese board and then came home and yeah. fucking hooked up a bomb-ass cheese Dude, board. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> What meat farms is that? The one over, one over here, right here on 112. Winters, kid. I'm going to go yeah. find this bitch. Winters. Winters. I'm going to go in there and Honestly, that made me want to go in there and not wear a mask and then them say something like, yeah, I have a medical condition, so yeah. what are you going to do to accommodate me now? Well, you yeah. sent that shit with Matty Denz the other day. He went to Trader Joe's, refused to wear a mask, and yeah. they gave him a cart with a flag on it yeah. so everyone would like know Like a he scarlet was. letter and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, but why couldn't they do something like that for that woman? Right, like stay away from me. Because no one made, no one's forced them to, that's why. Yep. Denzler stood his ground and forced those motherfuckers to. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and he's well spoken too, and he stays calm. So that's a big part of it as well. Like if he you're would, freaking out making a scene, now yeah. it's like they can they can go off on some other shit. Like, oh yeah, you're kind of like disturbing yeah. everybody. But if you sit there calm and collective, and you make your point, you get your point across. Like, yeah, what are they gonna do? They can't do much. And that whole accommodate shit though, that's a great like monkey wrench in their whole shit. Like you, you have people coming into the store that don't have a mask, and you have masks to give out. I have a medical condition, or my son has a medical condition. Like, so what are you gonna do for me? Yeah. You know, you have to accommodate. I mean, if you don't, it's discrimination. You know, and now you can go fuck yourself. Yeah. And they, by law, they can't <laughs> ask you. They They're can't fucked. be like, oh, what do you have? Or let me see. No, like, no they can't. A, you're not violating my fucking HIPAA rights. Yeah. Yeah. So. 100%, man. Well, good for Alexa, dude. That's good karma, man. I believe, like, whatever you put out comes back. Yeah, I was super proud of her for that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I didn't tell her, you know. But. <laughs> 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 like, word, whatever. Make the cheese board. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, let's take it so long with this fucking cheese board. Yeah, let's leave that, that hot cheese out, though, next time, man. <laughs> I, I took a bite of that. I turned around. I was sweating like I just ran a mile, bro. That shit was gas, bro. Shh, was. Definitely not. Shit was hot. Spicy. Too much. But whatevs. Whatevs. All right, boys, you want to wrap this up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice uh, nice podcast for uh, for Mother's Day. Oh, Mother's Day podcast. Yeah, shout out to the moms today. Sh- shout out all yeah. baby moms out there yeah. that we don't know about. Nope. <laughs> nope. And if y'all listening, man, hit us with a question of the day. You know, we had a homie hit us up. We uh, used it. He got a free shirt and shit. Go follow us on Instagram and uh, check out these episodes on Pandora, Spotify. Yeah, and if you're in a store and you see some shit like that, speak up, stand up, help Yo, people out. Real. Yep. Powers and numbers. Yo, thanks for listening. Peace. Peace. Ta-ta.